Chapter 2701 Advancing to the Heaven Merging Realm The Nine-Headed Lion was dumbstruck. This was the technique he had been preparing all this time, and he had absolute confidence in it. In his mind, no matter how powerful Long Chen was, he would definitely die to this move. Thus, the nine-headed lion was already charging toward Long Chen when the latter suddenly broke free. Based on his calculations, he would arrive just as Long Chen was killed by this technique, allowing him to take the karmic luck pearl. However, in reality, his technique shattered, and what he saw was Long Chen's eyes filled with killing intent. His fur stood on end, and a sensation of death filled him. At this moment, Evil Moon was already raised high and the nine-headed lion was unable to stop his momentum at all. Filled with terror, he roared, his nine heads unleashing nine kinds of divine abilities that merged into a giant divine sword that pierced toward Long Chen as his saber fell. Boom. As a result, the divine sword exploded, and the nine-headed lion was sent flying. A giant cut could be seen on his chest, with even his insides leaking out. What a pity. I used up too much energy. Otherwise. I would have killed him just now. Long Chen sighed inside. His fight with Sovereign Yun Shang had exhausted too much energy. Although he had focused on recovering afterward, he had only recovered his spiritual Yuan to 60% and his spiritual strength to 30%. Without powerful enough spiritual strength, it was impossible to lock down the opponent, allowing them to slip away and dodge. This resulted in him missing the chance to kill the nine-headed lion. After being injured, the nine-headed lion was actually happy. He shouted, Long Chen's spiritual strength is weak, and his spiritual Yuan isn't fully recovered. Now is the best time to kill him. Kill. Even before he finished speaking, Long Aotian was already charging over with endless killing intent. He's fully recovered so quickly. People were stunned to find that Long Aotian's nine dragon manifestation was fully restored, and his aura had returned to its peak. To recover in such a short time was practically heaven-defying. Long Chen, I will tear you into pieces today as vengeance for my father, roared Long Aotian. That depends on whether or not you have that ability, sneered Long Chen. Although he hadn't fully recovered, he wasn't the slightest bit panicked facing Long Aotian. As Evil Moon slashed onto Long Aotian's spear, metallic ringing exploded along with sparks. Both the spear and Evil Moon were blown back at the same time. Just at that moment, Long Chen's hand smoothly struck Long Aotian in the face. Boom. Long Aotian's head exploded and his body collapsed. What everyone was stunned. Was Long Chen not in a weakened state? How did he end up so much more powerful that he could kill Long Aotian with a simple slap? Only sharp-eyed people saw that a dragon-shaped mark had appeared on Long Chen's palm just as Long Chen's slap landed. Long Chen's slap didn't contain any killing power nor did it contain any killing intent. This lack of threat was what allowed it to slip past an expert's sharp senses. Before this, his slap was mostly just a mental attack, but now it was different. Li Linger would unleash her own berserk lightning power just as Long Chen's palm was about to strike his enemy. The timing had to be perfect. Too early and it would be sensed. Too late and the enemy would already be sent flying away. Hence, it had to erupt at the perfect time in an instant. At this moment, Long Aotian quickly reformed within his manifestation, and his nine dragons were reduced to eight. In the very first exchange, one of his ancestral dragons was already destroyed. Because of this, Long Aotian went crazy with rage. He had charged over so confidently, only for Long Chen to kill him again. What a complete humiliation. Long Chen, Long Aotian roared. At this moment, his dragon spear shone. Unleashing 10,000 spear images that pierced toward Long Chen. After being slapped so many times, Long Aotian had finally learned his lesson. Even if he had to die, he refused to fight head on against Long Chen again. If he did, his death would be even more sullen. Suddenly, a strange sound rang out from the bodies of everyone within the beam of divine light. It was as if something inside of them had shattered. Following that, they suddenly felt themselves lighten and their connection to the world's energy became clearer. It was as if the mist had been torn away, and the world suddenly became clear. We've obtained the recognition of the heavenly deos. Mo Nian and the others cried out excitedly. The heavenly tribulation had finally ended. Having gone through the final baptism, 
they were finally true heaven merging experts. Suddenly, the void exploded and one world gate after another opened, shooting beams of divine light at Long Chen. Different kinds of world energy were crushing the laws of the martial heaven continent's heavenly deos, and the pressure was absolutely suffocating. At this moment, the sound of a sword being unsheathed rang through the air. After that, two beams of divine light were shattered and ice crystals flew through the air. When those crystals fell into the martial heaven sea ring, the water instantly froze and this area became a world of ice. Deoist heavenly feather had finally taken action blocking the experts from other worlds from attacking Long Chen. Daoist Heavenly Feather blocked two of the beams, and the other three were continuing toward Long Chen. But all of a sudden, they turned and shot toward the High Priest. At some point, a three-foot wine gourd had appeared behind the High Priest. Its lid was open, and those three beams of light were sucked inside. The High Priest snorted. As always, you shameless fellows are doing shameful things. If you want to fight, then fight openly compared to his normal appearance. The current high priest was far colder. He looked toward the world gates. A follower of the old wine ghosts Tao also dares to be so arrogant? Instead of making your dogs piss wine, you come interfere here? You must be tired of living. A sinister voice rang out from one of those world gates. That voice was chilling, like the voice of a hellish fiend. Although he spoke, he didn't appear and continued hiding behind the world gate, seemingly afraid of something. After that, the world gate flickered, like the gaze of a devil. The martial heaven continent's experts felt goosebumps. It was as if a fatal attack would come for them at any moment. Cowardly rat, come and fight, sneered the high priest. Even in the face of so many world gates, even in the face of those terrifying auras, he wasn't afraid. Fight? It still isn't the time. First, let's see who the karmic luck pearl goes to. The sky suddenly exploded and thousands of spatial gates opened, like sinister eyes. Every single gate unleashed a whirlpool pointed at Long Chen. The karmic luck pearl above his head instantly began to shudder, causing Long Chen's expression to change. Chapter 2702 The fight for the karmic luck pearl as the karmic luck pearl above Long Chen's head shuddered. He could clearly feel its energy being slowly absorbed by those whirlpools. This karmic luck pearl contained the spirit of all life on the continent, the foundation of all deos. It was something that supported the life of the martial heaven continent. However, it couldn't be directly absorbed. Instead, it would passively support whoever refined it. Long Chen estimated that with his full power, it would take around three days for him to refine it all. While fighting the sovereigns, Long Chen had sensed just how amazing it was to have the support of the world's karmic luck. Every one of their blows contained power resonating with heaven and earth. It was as if they represented the world, and the Tao had to listen to them. Having also used this power, Long Chen understood what it meant. It meant having the approval of the martial heaven continent and having the ability to use all the continent's power. This karmic luck pearl was what made someone a sovereign someone in command of all deos of the world. It was the ultimate power to protect the continent. At this moment, countless spatial gates opened, and it was unknown what power they were using. They were like blood-sucking ghouls, greedily consuming the karmic luck pearl's energy. The high priest's expression also changed, while deoist heavenly feather repeatedly attacked. With every slash of his sword, a dozen spatial gates crumbled. However, they quickly reformed and continued absorbing the karmic luck pearl's energy. It's useless. We went all out to take this era's karmic luck pearl. The destiny of the martial heaven continent has come to an end, and no one can save you. A mocking voice came from one of the spatial gates. Clearly, these invaders had long since made their preparations. Perhaps tens of thousands of years of preparation was spent just for today. Scram. Long Chen roared. Slashing Evil Moon. As a result, the Aldevil Heavenwalker, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, and Long Aeocean were all sent flying. However, Long Chen himself spat out some blood. The three of them had spent all this time resting and were now in their peak state. As for Long Chen, he was weakened from his fight against the sovereigns. Kill. Just at this moment, the Dragon Blood Warriors charged over. However, they were suddenly forced back by an invisible power. What Guo Ran's expression changed. There was clearly no barrier, but they couldn't fly through. 
They set up an invisible barrier condensed of energy from their worlds. They really did come prepared. Xia Chen's expression was extremely ugly. He looked at his formation disc as a formation expert. He was the first to realize that there was an invisible barrier. Moreover, this barrier was nothing ordinary. It was composed of the energy from the spatial walls of multiple worlds. In other words, it was backed by the power of multiple worlds. So there was no way that they could break it. At this moment, Daoist Heavenly Feather formed a sword seal in her hand, and her manifestation appeared behind her, unleashing a tide of ice chi. Just as she was preparing to unleash an attack to shatter the barrier, the high priest appeared in her path. You cannot. The core of that barrier is Long Chen, and he will receive the majority of your attack. You will only harm him like this. So what else can be done? Demanded Daoist Heavenly Feather. Even she could no longer retain her calm. These invading experts were truly sinister. Having calculated every step against Long Chen and the others, they had long since laid down a heaven-encompassing trap. There is no way for us to break this board. The only one that can do anything is Long Chen. Right now, they don't dare to come out of their world gates and can only interfere from the other side. So we just need to stop the divine families from interfering, said the high priest. They didn't just need to worry about the invaders but also the enemies amongst their midst. Especially the divine families. They were unpredictable. Boom. Suddenly, the martial heaven sea ring exploded, unleashing a giant wave into the sky. At this moment, an immense illusion appeared before them. It was a giant bracelet that covered the sky. Although it was just a projection, it gave them endless pressure. Humans felt like ants before it. The heaven devastating bracelet. The spatial gate suddenly froze, unable to absorb energy any further. After that, Long Chen's body shuddered and the suffocating feeling reappeared. The karmic luck pearl above his head was instantly sucked away. Now he understood why the heaven devastating bracelet had been able to so easily take the karmic luck pearl at the beginning. It had been choking the life out of the martial heaven continent for tens of thousands of years. Like a leech. It had extracted the continent's energy, so it was capable of using a trace of the continent's power now. Long Chen, the karmic luck pearl cannot be lost. If they obtain it, they will awaken two sovereign stars. The martial heaven continent will then be powerless to resist, shouted the high priest. The karmic luck pearl concerned the life of all things on the continent. If taken, this world would be doomed. Right now. The karmic luck pearl appeared on top of the dragon woman's head. Light sprinkled down, protecting her. Ha ha ha. The dragon woman laughed. I am the heir to the heaven devastating bracelet. This karmic luck pearl is mine. Boom. As she laughed, Long Aotian pierced her sword at her. However, when he struck her barrier, he was sent flying. Yi Miang, the blood fiend devil lord, the nine headed lion and the Aldevil Heavenwalker all attacked as well and were forced back by the protective light. They didn't know what the dragon woman had done, but she had somehow activated the power of the heaven-devastating bracelet. All their attacks were useless against her. Ha ha ha. So what if the five sovereigns chose you? The karmic luck pearl is still mine. I will be the martial heaven continent sixth generation sovereign. When I become sovereign, I will let the sea demon race in wiping out the human race. Ha ha ha, the dragon woman laughed arrogantly, feeling extremely pleased with herself. A sovereign was in existence with the world's karmic luck supporting them. Upon becoming a sovereign, the dragon woman would be the ruler of this world. No one would be able to fight her. Split the heavens nine. Long Chen furiously attacked. The heaven devastating bracelet was the enemy of the martial heaven continent. If the dragon woman became the continent's sovereign it would be the end of the continent. Hence, Long Chen had no choice but to exhaust every last scrap of his energy in this attack. He didn't know what would happen afterward, but he couldn't afford to care about that. Boom. The light barrier did not manage to force back Evil Moon and shattered instead, instantly severing the dragon woman's laughter. Being impacted by the leftover energy, the dragon woman coughed up a mouthful of blood, cracks covering her entire body. As for Long Chen, he also coughed up blood. However, ignoring the immense backlash in his body, he charged toward the shocked dragon woman. Chapter 2703 Killing the dragon woman The blood fiend devil lord was even faster than Long Chen. 
With his blood sun activated, he smashed his giant tower toward the dragon woman, which then took out and used her dragon bone whip to defend herself despite the suppression of the tower. After the exchange, she coughed up another mouthful of blood as her injuries worsened. As she flew back, the divine light formed around her once more, and Mo Nian's arrow was blocked by it. I have the protection of the heaven devastating bracelet. You must be dreaming if you think you can kill me, roared the dragon woman. Just as she spoke, multiple attacks landed, all bouncing off the protective barrier. Only Long Chen's split the heavens could break it. Everyone looked at Long Chen, which was completely pale. That last attack left him with less than a tenth of his spiritual yuan, and his spiritual strength had run out. The paleness was the result of overdrafting his spiritual strength. At this moment, the divine light around the dragon woman gathered around the karmic luck pearl, squeezing it. It quivered as its energy was forced out. She's rapidly absorbing its energy. Based on this rate, it wouldn't even be half an incense stick's worth of time before all the energy of the karmic luck pearl was absorbed by her. Then she really would be the sixth generation sovereign. Suddenly, a speck of light appeared on her forehead. When that light appeared, the high priest, Daoist Heavenly Feather, and a few other senior experts turned ashen. It's over. We're too late. She has absorbed the majority of its power. No one can take it away. Daoist Heavenly Feather clenched the Northern Source Sword. Her expression extremely unwilling. Has the Martial Heaven Continent really met its end? Even if Long Chen was in his peak condition, it's already too late. We can only watch as she becomes the Sovereign Ha Ha Ha. The Dragon Woman laughed almost crazily. She was about to become the sixth generation sovereign, the ruler of this world. Long Chen, just wait. The first one I'll kill after becoming a sovereign will be you. I'll personally take back the essence blood that you stole from me. It's all that bastard Yun Shang's fault. Otherwise, everything would be under control. Cursed Evil Moon. Evil Moon had always felt admiration for Long Chen's control over his energy. If it wasn't for Yun Shang forcing him to unleash all his power, his attack just now would have been enough to kill the dragon woman. However, it had been lacking just a bit, allowing her to survive. Hence, now her arrogant appearance made Evil Moon feel extremely irritated, and it blamed Yun Shang for it. Boss Yun Tian, what should we do? Should we join forces and try to kill her? Transmitted Mo Nian. As long as he and Zi Yan joined forces and unleashed the power of two supreme divine items at once, then adding Yun Tian, Long Chen, and everyone else's attacks, they might be able to kill her. However, before Yun Tian could reply, Long Chen's voice rang out in their minds, Remember to save me in a bit, I'm going to kill her, without having a chance to react. Sacred chanting rang out. Following that, a terrifying heat ignited the world. The Nirvana scripture, the pill fairy, who had been indifferent to everything that had occurred, finally revealed a slight emotional flux. At this moment, a giant flame lotus burst into existence, and its terrifying heat made it feel like the world had turned into a furnace. As the lotus rapidly grew, the invisible barrier was heated to the point that cracks appeared in the air. That huge lotus dumbfounded everyone. Was Long Chen not supposed to be out of energy? How could he still unleash such a terrifying move? The truth was that this was only possible due to the final comprehension that the sovereigns had given Long Chen when they had stabbed their swords through his body. What Long Chen was using right now was Sovereign Ching Su's secret art, one that was capable of borrowing the power of the heavens when the user's power was exhausted. This technique definitely had some side effects, but Long Chen couldn't bother about them right now. Right now. Zi Yan's southern sea zither had yet to recognize her as master, while Mo Nian's central plains cauldron had been controlled by the divine families for so long that it was in an extremely weak state. Even if they joined forces, they couldn't defeat the heaven-devastating bracelet's power. As old opponents, they were definitely aware of each other's power. The reason why the heaven-devastating bracelet took action now was because it was sure that these two divine items couldn't threaten it. Suddenly. Countless flaming stars filled the world. On a closer look, those weren't stars but burning flame runes that were like meteor showers shooting through the air. Complicated to simple. Simplicity to one. The Tao is formless. The form of formlessness. 
Long Chen's chanting suddenly changed. This was Sovereign Zi Yang's mnemonic. As if reacting to it, the towering flame lotus suddenly vanished. In that instant, the world twisted as the 10,000 Deos cried out. Long Chen then charged toward the dragon woman, unleashing a palm that had a lotus-shaped mark at the heart of the palm. Just a glance at this mark caused people's souls to tremble in pain, as if their souls were lit ablaze. In front of everyone's horrified gaze, Long Chen's palm slammed into the divine light. As a result, the divine light was instantly pierced, and the lotus mark on his palm was unleashed, exploding on the dragon woman's body. The dragon woman let out a terrified cry. However, she was stunned to find that no sound came out. She couldn't make a sound, and she couldn't dodge. She could only watch as Long Chen's palm landed. After that, she didn't sense any pain. Her body simply exploded in an instant, without mist nor blood. Everything about her was gone as if it had never existed. From body to soul, what was gone along with her was the karmic luck pearl. Long Chen's palm continued, and a lotus seal smashed into the sea, creating a giant hole that reached deep into the depths and struck the earth. At this moment, the earth exploded, revealing a giant golden body. The entire martial heaven continent shuddered. That was the heaven devastating bracelet's true body. Long Chen's attack was so terrifying that it dumbfounded everyone. After that attack, his aura suddenly vanished and he fell from the sky. Long Chen was unconscious. At this moment, without knowing whether he was dead or alive, the Aldevil Heavenwalker, the Nine Headed Lion, Long Aotian, and Yi Ming all attacked. This was a rare opportunity for them. Chapter 2704 Sovereignless Martial Heaven Continent Scram The Dragon Emperor beneath Long Chen's feet roared. Its tail whipped toward the four of them. Boom! The Dragon Emperor's tail exploded, but Long Aotian and the other's attacks were also blocked. The Dragon Emperor's power was quite shocking. Seeing that it had ruined their plan, the four of them furiously charged toward Long Chen with their divine items in hand. However, just at that moment, Long Chen's figure vanished and a towering cauldron appeared in front of the four of them. The Central Plains cauldron had sucked Long Chen inside. Yun Tian, Mo Nian, Hu Fang, Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, and the others all appeared around the Central Plains cauldron, preventing their attacks from landing on the Central Plains cauldron. At this moment, Long Chen was in an extremely weak state inside the cauldron. Any attack could cause him fatal wounds. Kill. The dragon blood warriors came charging over. The invisible barrier had been broken by Long Chen. So there was no longer anything blocking them. Rays of light shot out of the world gates. Landing on the blood fiend devil lord. The Aldevil Heavenwalker. The nine-headed lion. And Yi Ming. After that. Their bodies were sucked inside the gates. Vanishing. As for Long Aotian. One of his ancestral dragons in his manifestation exploded. His body had vanished without a trace along with the dragon emperor's claw. It was unknown what secret Artie had used to flee. The dragon blood warriors charged to the front of the central plains cauldron, protecting it. They looked around and suddenly found that the divine family's experts had also left without a word after Long Aotian fled. The world gates were still open, but no further attacks came out. Instead, the nine-headed lion's arrogant voice rang out from one of them. Sheep of the martial heaven continent, Long Chen has destroyed the karmic luck pearl. Since the martial heaven continent's karmic luck is scattered, there will be no sovereign for you in this generation. Ha ha ha, the lack of a sovereign means that you are all just sheep to the slaughter. Fuck your mother, even if my boss isn't a sovereign, he can beat you into a dog. Rage Guo Ran. The nine-headed lion was the first one to be beaten away by Long Chen, but he still dared to act arrogant here. Before the nine-headed lion could reply, the blood fiend devil lord's voice rang out. Idiot. You don't know? For us, becoming sovereigns of our worlds is inevitable. The only reason we came here for your karmic luck pearl was to give rise to two sovereigns at once. By gaining the recognition and support of two worlds, we would be unstoppable. However, if the karmic luck pearl is destroyed, then it means that the martial heaven continent cannot give rise to a sovereign. The moment we become sovereigns will be the day when the martial heaven alliance is destroyed. Just pass your final days in terror and despair. The Aldevil Heavenwalker also added, the past invaders had to face sovereigns that protected this world. 
resulting in failure. Because the Marshall Haven continent is the core of a star field, despite being broken, it was strong like a dying camel, and the sovereigns that it produced were too powerful. However, we also saw that every sovereign that appeared was weaker than the last. That proved that we would succeed sooner or later. But who would have thought that the Marshall Heaven continent would be so weakened that it is unable to even give rise to a sovereign? You are powerless to resist. When the Devil Race's army invades, all of you here will be killed. Not necessarily. If you wish, I can turn you into puppets of the Death Spirit Race. I'll bestow you with undying bodies. Ha ha ha. Laughed Ji Ming. It was unknown if they were simply trying to scare people, but even the Dragon Blood Warriors felt a chill. The Martial Heaven Continent no longer had any sovereigns to protect it, but their enemies would inevitably become sovereigns of their own worlds. Although Long Chen was strong enough to dominate those in the same realm, once the enemies became sovereigns, would he still be able to fight them? Even if he could, would he be able to suppress so many of them at the same time? Feelings of despair crept into people's hearts. Even though these words clearly had malicious intentions to whittle down their morale, they couldn't argue against facts. You are underestimating the Martial Heaven Continent. Or rather, you are underestimating the Five Sovereigns. Suddenly, Yun Tian spoke up. He had been silent the entire time, but now his words shook everyone. Yun Tian was the son of Sovereign Yun Shang. He was the most mysterious amongst all these experts. Other than Long Chen, he was the one that everyone had the most confidence in. HMPH. Underestimate? Do you expect me to overestimate them? Are five dead people qualified for such an honor? Sneered the nine-headed lion. That mocking appearance infuriated everyone who worshipped the sovereigns as supreme existences. Yun Tian lightly said, Long Chen is the one that the five sovereigns chose as well as the one that the Martial Heaven Continent chose. To put it succinctly, he is the Chosen of the Heavens. He wears black clothes, contrary to the Sovereigns. What does that indicate? It means that he walks a path different from all the Sovereigns. Becoming a Sovereign is nothing more than a formality. Long Chen is already a crownless Sovereign. Look anywhere within the Martial Heaven Continent and ask if anyone can compete with him. Yun Shian's words sparked hope in people's hearts. Long Chen was the chosen of the heavens, the one that the five generations of sovereigns thought highly of. Even if he couldn't become a sovereign, he would still be the sixth generation sovereign in their hearts. The blood fiend devil lord sneered. What a joke. If he is not crowned, he cannot condense a sovereign star. Without a sovereign star, how can he control the ten thousand laws and deos of the world? How can he refine heaven and earth into tools for his own use? If he cannot refine heaven and earth, how can he control the power of an entire world? If he can't control an entire world like we will be able to, then he is a clawless dragon, a fangless tiger, prey to be consumed. Whether or not it is a joke is something you will know in the future. However, Long Chen's power has proved that before anyone becomes a sovereign, none of you are a match for him. I still remember when I was a child. I asked my father who the strongest person in the world was. His answer was that there does not exist someone who is always the strongest. Some people unleash limitlessly greater power the more they put on their shoulders. Thus, don't think that the sovereigns are always the strongest. Save your big words till after you become a sovereign, and not for when you don't even dare to reveal yourself in front of us. Talking big while hiding behind a door isn't very honorable, said Yun Tian. You. You're the one talking big. Just wait. On the day I become a sovereign, I will use your blood to dye this world red, roared the blood fiend devil lord. After that, all the world gates slammed shut, and the world returned to its previous appearance. However, the sky of the martial heaven continent had darkened even more. The darkness shrouded the entire world, preventing people from seeing even a glimmer of light. Chapter 2705 Heavenly Flame Demon Domain The Divine Families Have Shut Themselves Off News Spread After Long Aotian Fled, the Divine Families also brought away Feng Fei, Yi Liangchen, and Jiang Wachen. All of them had retreated to their territory and shut the spatial channels connecting them to the continent. This action also indicated that the Divine Family's collaboration with the Martial Heaven Continent had come to an end. In fact, the Divine Families might even be their enemies in the future. 
However, this news wasn't important. This was all within expectations. The invading armies from the Yun Yang world, Devil Spirit Mountain, Resentful Death City, and the newly opened Demonic Beast Battlefield in the southern Xuan region have all retreated. This news was also within expectations. The High Priest and the others all understood why this was happening. Although their enemies hadn't managed to take the Karmic Luck Pearl, their interference had caused it to be destroyed. As the Martial Heaven Continent could no longer give birth to a sovereign, there was no need for them to press the attack at this time. Time was actually on their side now. Each of their worlds would have a sovereign, and they would trample over the continent. High Priest, how is Long Chen? asked Meng Chi. Long Chen's eyes were shut, and his aura was gone without a trace, as even his spiritual fluctuations could not be sensed. Meng Chi and the others were all pale with worry. They watched as the high priest pressed a hand on Long Chen's forehead. No need to worry. He is in a special recovery state. There is no danger to his life, announced the high priest, allowing everyone to relax. At this moment, the lightning dragons from the lightning domain had retreated. The dragon emperor saw that Long Chen was well protected and left. All the lightning dragons had benefited immensely this time. The energy of the divine lightning in this tribulation was enough for them to ascend to an even higher level. The dragon emperor in particular had absorbed a huge amount of thunder force due to fighting alongside Long Chen. When those four swords stabbed through him, it also absorbed a huge amount of lightning. Upon returning to the lightning domain, they would need some time digesting this new energy. Furthermore, this also changed the lightning domain as this divine lightning was unleashed. Due to taking in more divine lightning than they could endure, the dragons unleashed the extra into the lightning domain, storing it there while they slowly absorbed it. As emperor of this domain, all their power was the dragon emperors, so the dragon emperor forged ahead to another metamorphosis. At this moment, the pill fairy glanced at the slumbering Long Chen and also left with Wan Qing without a word. During the entire process, she had been like a spectator. She hadn't interfered. It was as if the karmic luck pearl and the sovereigns didn't pique her interest. Within Pill Valley's divine palace, there were two towering statues. Those were statues of the gods that Pill Valley worshipped, Lord Brahma and Fallen Daynite. At this moment, divine runes were quivering at their foreheads, giving off intimidating pressure. Others didn't even dare to look at the statues directly, as if the two gods were truly staring back at them. Why didn't you take action? It was such a good opportunity shouted Yu Ziaoyan as soon as the pill fairy and Wan Qing walked in. Although he was within the palace, he was well aware of everything that had happened in the martial heaven sea ring. If you had attacked earlier, before the heaven devastating bracelet, the dragon woman wouldn't have had a chance to absorb so much karmic luck. With the support of both gods, you would have had at least a 40% chance of becoming the sovereign. Instead, you stood there like a blockhead. What were you thinking? Roared Yu Ziaoyan furiously. In the face of her father's roaring, the pill fairy was completely indifferent. She didn't even look at him. Instead, she walked over to the divine statues and kowtowed. Without looking back, she said, Remember, you might be my father, but you also are the god's servant. I am the god's daughter, so pay attention to your words. This matter is going all according to the god's arrangements. I do not need to report any of my actions to you. The pill fairy was just as cold to her own father as if he was a stranger. Yu Ziaoyan was ashen but helpless to retort. Although he had also been blessed by the gods and advanced to heaven merging, he was not qualified to speak with the gods. That was why whatever the pill fairy said was what happened, and he had no right to interfere. He was infuriated that the pill fairy had not tried to take the karmic luck pearl but his sharp words were returned right back at him by her. In front of these two divine statues, even if she was his daughter, he couldn't be rash. Her status was completely different. To put it frankly, he was also a servant of the divine daughter. After that, Yu Ziaoyan left and Wan Qing stood behind the pill fairy. As the palace descended into silence, the pill fairy stared at the two divine statues. No one knew what she was thinking. Bastard. Long Aotian furiously smashed apart a table beside him. That Long Chen, if I obtained the karmic luck pearl, I could have condensed two immortal flames and become a supreme immortal sprout. Now it's all been ruined by that wretch. 
who was in charge of that matter back then, didn't they say that he was definitely dead? Only a few core members of the Long family and Long Aotian's mother were gathered within this hall. They were all gloomy. Are you all trash? Didn't you all guarantee that he was dead back then? Explain yourselves demanded Long Aotian's mother. Everyone present had participated in that matter back then. It had been a huge affair. So they had even killed some of their own people who were implicated in it. However, the person that should have been killed for sure now ended up alive. Not only that, but he had also become the Martial Heaven Continent's strongest expert of the junior generation and an existence acknowledged by all five sovereigns. This fact drove Long Aotian's mother crazy. Talking about that is meaningless now. Long Chen can no longer become sovereign. As long as Aotian becomes one, Long Chen will sooner or later be killed. The top priority is for Aotian to become sovereign before the experts from other worlds. Otherwise, the Starfield Core will be taken by them first. Once it's taken, the efforts of many generations of us will have been wasted. The blame for such a thing is something that none of us can afford to take, said the Long family head. That's right, Aotian, don't think about all that right now. Everything is going according to plan. First, go to the Heavenly Flame Demon Domain to become sovereign. That's the foundation that we've been preparing for 60,000 years. You have to be the first to become sovereign. Then you can unite the Martial Heaven Continent and defeat the experts from other worlds. There is still a chance for us. Even if we can't have a double sovereign, just the core of the Starfield is enough for you. With it, upon ascending to the Divine World, you will be treated like a king, said Long Aotian's mother. Fine. First I'll become sovereign, then I'll kill Long Chen. Long Aotian clenched his fists, killing intent blazing within his insidious eyes. Chapter 2706 Taking out capital on the Martial Heaven Continent The peak experts of the continent were gathered in the Martial Heaven Alliance's palace. The High Priest, Daoist Heavenly Feather, the Music Master, Hu Jinying the old man, Li Xiangxuan, and other living fossils that had been hidden on the continent were all present. These experts weren't born in the Great Era. In order to survive to such a time, they had sealed themselves, which extended their lifespan but resulted in their combat power dropping. Amongst these experts was an old-timer that hadn't participated in any of the Martial Heaven Continent's issues for a long time. It was the Huaian sect sect master, Maruian. He had also come today. The air was heavy, and no one spoke for a long time. Eventually, it was the old man who said, Why do you all look so miserable? Isn't it just a fight? We'll just go all out, even if we can't win. Killing one means you go even, and killing two means that you've profited. No one in this world lives forever. What are you afraid of? When the battle starts, I, Wu Guangguan, will be the first to charge out. Aya. Why are you pinching me? Hu Jinying had glared at the old man several times throughout his speech, but he didn't even notice, causing her to pinch him. Your bravery is commendable. However, you have no sons or daughters. You don't know what we're feeling. At our age, dying is just dying. But what about our descendants? There are babies that have yet to realize how beautiful this world is. They will also be destroyed if we lose. If we can increase our chance of them surviving by even the slightest, it's worth it. Just bravery isn't enough, sighed a mid-heaven merging elder. At their age, they had long since seen the changes of the world and gotten tired of it, but they still had ties to this world. Even if they didn't mind their own deaths, they still cared about the life and death of their descendants. The reason why Ku Jinying was so angry was because the old man had essentially insulted all of them as cowards afraid of dying as if he was the only one with the courage to fight. I never would have thought that the heaven-devastating bracelet was simply in slumber for so many years. I thought that it was destroyed in that battle back then. Furthermore, it seems that its aura is greater than that of the four supreme divine items we have, and the Eastern Wasteland Bell is still missing. It truly is worrisome. The Eastern Wasteland Bell is the leader of the five supreme divine items. The only one capable of facing the heaven-devastating bracelets attack directly back then. Moreover, we are surrounded by enemies both from the outside and inside. The karmic luck pearl has now been destroyed as well. To break out of our current predicament even though it might be discouraging to say it, it is truly, truly difficult, 
said another elder, that elder's words might be suspected to be destabilizing everyone's morale, but he was correct. The current martial heaven continent was under attack from the Aldevil Heavenwalker, the blood fiend devil lord, the nine-headed lion, and Yimiang, who represented an entire world of their own. They would all become sovereigns of their worlds. Furthermore, their worlds were completely unified. In other words, their path to sovereignty was completely smooth. In the past, every time a great tribulation descended, the continent would have a sovereign to push back the invading experts, protecting the continent. However, this time, the karmic luck pearl was destroyed, so this generation would not have a sovereign. How would they stop the invading experts then? To use the old man's words, in front of absolute power, any trick was meaningless. These words once more proved their unchanging truth. Sect Master Li, do you have any ideas? People looked to Li Xiangxuan. He had been the Alliance's brain this entire time. Everyone was extremely convinced by his intelligence. No. Novaloon.com Li Xiangxuan spread his hands with a faint smile. No? Then why are you smiling? Asked the old man. Li Xiangxuan laughed, surprisingly at ease. I don't have any plans. But that doesn't mean that Long Chen doesn't. With him on our side, it'll be fine. Long Chen hadn't died in this tribulation, and this fact made Li Xiangxuan's confidence in Long Chen rise to a new level. The current Li Xiangxuan couldn't even form a desire to use his brain against these invaders. How do you know that Long Chen has a plan? asked the old man. Don't ask me. In any case, I'm extremely confident in Long Chen. This confidence comes from the five sovereigns who have entrusted the continent to Long Chen. I feel like there is absolutely no need for any of us to worry so much. The heaven devastating bracelet was forcibly activated and gave the karmic luck to the dragon woman. But even with the heaven devastating bracelet's protection, she was still killed by Long Chen. I feel like that already proves it. At this most critical juncture, the only one capable of flipping heaven and earth is Long Chen. Thus, rather than feeling so anxious here, it would be better to go comfort your descendants. Successive generations have placed their faith in the sovereigns, entrusting their lives to them. Why were they capable of doing so? But we aren't capable of fully trusting Long Chen. Is it simply because he isn't a sovereign? asked Li Xiangxuan. Well, everyone could only stare at him. His words were very reasonable. If they couldn't believe in Long Chen, then they could come up with their own solutions. If not, why not sincerely trust Long Chen? Even the five sovereigns trusted him. What was there to question? I feel like little Li is right. They are this era's main characters. What does it have to do with us? We can just do what Long Chen wants us to do, said the old man. The high priest shook his head. It also can't be put like that. We can entrust our hopes to Long Chen. But that doesn't mean we can stop caring about anything. After all, Long Chen is young and doesn't care about many details. We have to prepare everything in advance to support him better. Now that they've all advanced to heaven merging, it would be best for them to advance through this realm as quickly as possible. We cannot care about unstable foundations, as every single level that they can advance is another bit of hope. We have to prepare things for our children. All the foundations that everyone has built up can be taken out to support our talented descendants. Now isn't the time to be stingy. We must do our utmost to use everything we have before the next battle begins. Once it starts, Long Chen and the others will be the main force. But if they don't have enough assistance, this battle will still be lost. Every bit of power is important then will affect the final outcome. Understood. Everyone nodded. Whether or not the continent would survive would depend on the next battle. Being selfish and hiding any wealth at this time was purely courting death. Amongst these experts were powerful chiefs of their own ancient powers. They normally weren't even under the administration of the Martial Heaven Alliance. But they had been gathered here by the Alliance to discuss things. As for other powers belonging to the Martial Heaven Alliance, the orders had long since been passed down. The High Priest suddenly turned to Maruayan. In the next battle, is the Huaian sect planning on bringing out their capital? Maruian smiled and profoundly said, Senior, don't worry, we have long since prepared our money. Chapter 2707 Pill Formulas Money? What money? asked the old man. However, 
The high priest and Maru Ayan didn't reply nor did they mention this topic again. After a while, Hu Jinying finally managed to have the old man restrain his curiosity and not pursue this topic. The high priest solemnly said, the martial heaven continent was just ravaged by a large battle. The dragon woman has been killed, along with most of the sea demon race. All that remains is the sea demon emperor. He activated the heaven devastating bracelet by sacrificing a great deal of his longevity and his realm. It is probably difficult for him to even stabilize at the late heaven merging realm. However, that doesn't mean that we can relax our vigilance. We must send people to keep an eye on him. If we find him, then he must be killed immediately to remove this scourge. Hu Jinying nodded. Junior has sent people to keep an eye out. If we notice anything from the sea demon race, we will immediately report it to Senior. The high priest turned to the music master. Is the southern sea zither still not acknowledging a master? The music master shook her head. I don't know why, but the southern sea zither refuses to communicate with Zi Yan. Although Zi Yan can use a portion of its power, the southern sea zither still seems to be in slumber. It is truly inexplicable what of the northern source sword, asked the high priest. Daoist Heavenly Feather said, Zhikyu finally managed to link up with the northern source sword after advancing to heaven merging. She went into seclusion yesterday in order to formally begin the process. The high priest seemed to talk to himself. The western desert axe brought wild to who knows where in order to recover as quickly as possible. The Central Plains Cauldron has accepted Mo Nian but doesn't seem to like him too much. It might choose a different master at any time. Meanwhile, the Northern Source Sword still needs some time to finish the process of acknowledging a master. Based on the battle back then, the Southern Sea Zither should have taken the least damage. So it should be the first to recover and accept a master. Why does it still refuse? Is it waiting for a better master? Everyone looked at the music master who shook her head. The southern sea zither once roamed the world under the identity of the seven-string sea suppressing zither. No one knows the reason for that. When the southern sea zither formed a connection with Zi Yan, it told Zi Yan that its true name was the seven-string sea suppressing zither and not the southern sea zither. Although the southern sea zither has been in the elusive music immortal palace this entire time, we must still treat it reverently. We can't ask it questions it doesn't wish to answer. If it doesn't wish to acknowledge a master, it must have its own reasons. The high priest didn't pursue that topic. He said, four of the supreme divine items have appeared. Only the eastern wasteland bell refuses to appear. If it does appear, then even though our enemies are powerful, we should have a high chance of victory with all five supreme divine items gathered. Right now, that depends on the eastern wasteland bell. But where is the Eastern Wasteland Bell? There hasn't been the slightest news of it after so many years, said someone helplessly. The High Priest said, once the other four Supreme Divine Items accept Masters, they can join forces to sense its direction. Right now, we're only missing Zi Yan. Seeing everyone looking toward her, the Music Master hastily said, I will definitely urge on Zi Yan, no matter the price. She must master the southern sea zither after a bit more discussion about the battle plan. Everyone left. Now all that remained were four people. The high priest. Daoist heavenly feather. The old man. And Hu Jinying. She is not speaking the truth. Said Daoist heavenly feather. The old man and Hu Jinying were startled. They guessed who she was referring to. While everyone was leaving. Daoist heavenly feather had only been staring at the music master. The high priest nodded. The elusive music Immortal Palace's history stretches back all the way to the Immortal Era. With that kind of long inheritance, they can be considered one of the most important members of the Martial Heaven continent. However, they have remained indifferent this entire time. Before this, it was still reasonable to say that they transcended the mortal world and disdained involving themselves in petty affairs. But for their attitude to remain the same even now is thought-provoking. The elusive music Immortal Palace seemed to be not the least bit concerned about the Martial Heaven Continent. It was as if they didn't care about its life or death. Even if their mastery of the music Dao meant breaking free from the mortal world of dust, this kind of indifference was not right. Do you think that it is the elusive music Immortal Palace that did something to the Southern Sea Zither, resulting in it not acknowledging a master? 
probe Deoist heavenly feather. That is not very likely. The high priest shook his head. The southern sea zither has preserved the most power out of the four supreme divine items so far. The elusive music immortal palace should not be able to interfere in that manner. Then why is it still waiting? Asked Deoist heavenly feather helplessly. If it continued to wait, then they wouldn't be able to find the eastern wasteland bell and their survival chances in the upcoming fall would sharply decline. Perhaps only the southern sea zither knows the reason. Find a chance to tell Long Chen to be on guard against the music master, said the high priest. Could it be? The old man and Ku Jin Ying's hearts pounded. Was there really a problem with the music master? Don't harm others, but be on guard against others trying to harm you. Taking note of her isn't a bad thing. The two of you will be busy during this time because the entire martial heaven continent's powers depend on you. As I have to return and pay my respects to the wine god, I won't be able to help you during this time. Everything will be up to you, said the high priest. The old man and Kujin hastily sent the high priest off. Once he left, Daoist Heavenly Feather also departed. With the battle imminent, she also had to prepare. While the old man and Kujin were busy at work, Long Chen remained in slumber. In this slumber, he had countless dreams. There were countless scenes of Sovereign Yun Shang, Qing Shu, Mo Li, Han Wei, and Zi Yang. Scenes of their youth, scenes of their journey, scenes of them becoming sovereigns and protecting the continent. There were also many bloody scenes. In just a short three days, he had seen countless images. They were random, not linking up. However, these were the experiences of the sovereigns. The five sovereigns had a somewhat similar past as him. They had all met various misfortunes in their youth and had tasted the bitterness of life. Also, they had advanced through a path of their enemies' corpses. The only difference was that when they reached the very peak of the cultivation world, their light radiated so brightly that they won over all others on the continent, causing all the races of the continent to swear allegiance to them. As for Long Chen, no matter how his light blazed, he still ended up with countless enemies. No one submitted to him, so he could only kill and kill with no rest. Sovereigns are sovereigns. Even if they were harmed 99 times, they would still give the others another chance. They used their own magnanimity to embrace this world, and they still believed in the beauty of this world. Long Chen suddenly smiled, awakening from his slumber. He seemed to understand what the sovereigns felt. Oh, what's this? Pill formulas. Long Chen suddenly noticed that more things had appeared in his spiritual memories. He immediately sat up, causing Men Chi and the others who were guarding by his side to cry out. Chapter 2708 Heaven Merging Pill I've made you worry. Seeing Men Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan Er, and the others guarding his side worriedly, Long Chen felt a burst of emotions. It's fine as long as you're awake. Do you feel anything off? Men Chi sent her spiritual strength into Long Chen's body, trying to detect any abnormalities. Before waking up, his spiritual strength and spiritual yuan had been extremely weak, almost non-existent. His killing blow on the dragon woman had borrowed the power of the heavens. However, Long Chen was not approved by the heavenly deos. Hence, it was not borrowing but forcibly snatching, resulting in the heavenly deos cursing him. Fortunately. This heavenly Tao curse was unable to pervade deep into his body, and it was slowly ground away by Long Chen's energy. After it was wiped out, his body began to recover like normal. Even so, his current spiritual strength and spiritual yuan were only recovering drop by drop. I'm fine. I used one of the sovereign's techniques. The side effects aren't that huge, said Long Chen. It really was dangerous. You have to rest this time. Keep an eye on your body to make sure no serious side effects will pop up in the form of hidden wounds. You can't be careless, said Meng Chi. During the tribulation, Long Chen had fought consecutive battles, accumulating countless wounds. His battle against the sovereigns in particular had been desperate. Long Chen smiled comfortingly. I'm fine. The sovereigns were actually carving their own martial deos and divine abilities into me during the battle. They wouldn't truly harm me. Then you've learned all the sovereign's techniques. Tang Wan Er was delighted by this. Her eyes began to shine. Long Chen reached out and intimately pinched Tang Wan Er's nose. Don't set your sights on the sovereign's techniques. 
Why not? said Tang Wan'er disappointedly. The sovereigns created their own unique techniques that are only suited for themselves. These unique techniques were made for them, and so others can't use them. The technique that I used to borrow energy from the heavens is one of the few ones I can use, and I had to modify it a bit to make it usable for me. Long Chen had had a similar thought to Tang Wan'er, but these techniques had extremely harsh requirements to use. It could be said that all the sovereigns had blazed unique paths for themselves, and those paths were only traversable by them. Hence, others didn't have the power to imitate them. This was why the sovereigns hadn't left behind their inheritances. Their accomplishments could not be imitated by others. If they tried, all that awaited them was death. However, while the techniques themselves couldn't be used by Long Chen, he could gain enlightenment from them. His world extermination flame lotus was created by himself, and it was also a technique that he couldn't transmit to others. If he recorded the technique on paper and passed it down, who knew how many people would die trying to use it? Passing it down would only harm them. What a pity. I really thought that the five sovereigns have left their inheritances to you so that you could continue their legacy. That way, even if you don't become a sovereign, you can still fight the blood fiend devil lord and the others once they become sovereigns. Sighed Tang Wan'er. They can also become sovereigns? How? Asked Long Chen. Meng Chi explained the final words that the blood fiend devil lord and the others had said before leaving. After hearing that, Long Chen's expression grew grave. So they are also people chosen by their worlds. Destined to become sovereigns. But since the martial heaven continent is the core of the star field. The levels of karmic luck are different. That is why their previous invasions have all ended in failure. It wasn't that they didn't have enough numbers, but that they didn't have any experts capable of matching the sovereigns of the martial heaven continent Long Chen. Don't overthink it. Even if they become sovereigns, we will still be able to fight them. After all, the martial heaven continent also has plenty of powerful experts. There are seniors like the high priest, Daoist Heavenly Feather and the music master. The martial heaven continent is our home territory. Our chances of victory are still very high, said Meng Chi, not wanting Long Chen to feel too much pressure. That's right. You still have us. We'll protect you. Now that you're awake, I'll refine the divine bone. I'll also merge my spirit bone, spirit blood, and spirit root. Then I'll kill that bastard Long Aotian. Tang Wan'er clenched her fist furiously. All of them detested Long Aotian to the max. I'll ask Boss Wan'er to protect little brother in the future. Long Chen nodded solemnly. Having just woken up, Long Chen's face was still pale. The others decided to leave so that he could properly rest. Once they were gone, Long Chen checked his body, confirming that other than being in a weak state, there were no problems. He was pleasantly surprised. The sovereigns were practically gods. They were even capable of coming up with a technique to steal the power of the heavens. These techniques were stronger than those so-called divine arts. It was no wonder that when Long Chen asked Sovereign Yun Chang whether the sovereigns were stronger than gods, Sovereign Yun Chang merely smiled and did not reply. However, the latter's expression clearly showed that he felt disdain for those so-called gods. Long Chen's battle against the sovereigns allowed him to fully comprehend just how great the sovereigns were. Even though his level of power was also extremely high, he was still lacking compared to them when they were alive. That distance was truly great. The sovereigns hadn't been trying to kill him during his tribulation. If that was their actual goal, he would probably be nothing more than dust right now. The sovereigns have displayed all their life's comprehension to me. They must have some deeper meaning. They knew that I wouldn't be able to cultivate those techniques but still transmitted them. What are they trying to tell me? The sovereigns were wise and farsighted. Every single action of theirs contained deeper meaning. They definitely wouldn't do something meaningless. However, every single one of their techniques was amazing. Researching a single one would take a huge amount of time and effort. By the time he went through all of them, it would have been centuries, and the martial heaven continent would have been destroyed. In other words, what the sovereigns intended was not for him to cultivate or improve these techniques. Ah, I can't figure it out. I'll think about it later. Let's see if I awakened the seventh star's pill formula. If I can condense the seventh star, 
I'll still be able to wipe them out even if I can't become sovereign. Long Chen shut his eyes. After an incense stick's worth of time, his expression grew ugly. He didn't find the seventh star's pill formula in his memories. If there's no pill formula, does that mean that I haven't reached the threshold for cultivating the seventh star? Long Chen was a bit bewildered. Long Chen once more scanned his memories and didn't find the seventh star's pill formula. However, he suddenly noticed another pill formula that made him jump up. Heaven Merging Pill Chapter 2709 Not to be eaten 13th Tier Medicinal Pill Heaven Merging Pill I'm saved. Long Chen cried out in excitement. The Heaven Merging Pill could help him rapidly increase his realm. If he rose all the way to the 12th heaven stage. So what if the Blood Fiend Devil Lord and the others became sovereigns? Couldn't he still beat them? Wisteria Phoenix Gallbladder Fruit Earthbone Dragon Saliva Incense Crouching Dragon Star Soul Grass Peak Earth 8 Bitter Root I have this one, and this one Long Chen checked the pill formula and found that many of the ingredients were only at the 12th tier. Only a few of them were extremely rare ingredients. Some of those rare ingredients were things he already had but he simply hadn't known what to do with them. The earth bone dragon saliva incense was actually a type of vegetation that grew like coral inside the 10,000 dragon nest, and it had its own spirituality. Long Chen had obtained it in the Starfield Divine World but hadn't known its use. Only now did he find out that after slicing it open, a liquid-like colored glass would flow out. That was the main ingredient for the heaven merging pill. I actually have them all? Can it be that the blessing of the five sovereigns has caused my luck to take a better turn? Seeing that he perfectly had all the ingredients, Long Chen was pleasantly surprised. He didn't recall such a lucky thing having occurred to him before. Things never went this smoothly, so he felt a bit strange about this. Refining pills. He took out the moon and star refining furnace, but then the demon moon furnace also popped out. Big brother Long Chen, you're so biased. Why won't you use me? Demanded Linger. Linger, don't fuss. First, watch what we do. The senior furnace will go first with its greater experience. Learn what you can, and then the two of you can refine together, said Long Chen. Linger needed to refine pills in order to strengthen herself. Meanwhile, the moon and star refining furnace had also recovered to around 60 to 70 percent after refining pills all this time. Its capabilities stunned even Long Chen. The moon and star refining furnace was excellent for refining pills, and it was already warming up as soon as he mentioned the heaven merging pills. Furthermore, the heat was at the perfect level. Clearly, the moon and star refining furnace had ever refined the heaven merging pill. However, since it hadn't fully recovered, its memories were incomplete, so it was acting instinctively. Despite that, it would allow Long Chen to grasp this pill refinement as quickly as possible. At this moment, one medicinal ingredient after another was refined into powder inside the pill furnace. All the essence was locked inside the powder, and not a trace of it escaped. If the fire requirements are so high right at the start, it will probably be insanely difficult when the pill condenses. Long Chen was excited but also prepared, based on his past experience. When starting off to refine the ingredients, they could usually be purified with around 30% of the maximum flame intensity. 50% was for the merging of the refined powders. However, they were already starting off with 70% of the maximum heat capacity. It had to be known that when the pill condensed, the greater the intensity of the heat, the more difficult it would be to control. The slightest carelessness and the pill would be turned to ash. This was Long Chen's first time refining such a difficult pill. Fortunately, the moon and star refining furnace had some experience with it. With its cooperation, they were making astonishing progress. When all the medicinal ingredients were refined, Long Chen increased the intensity of the flame. Even when he was at 80% power, it was not enough. Hence, he slowly increased the fire until it reached 90%. However, the moon and star refining furnace was still requiring more as the flame was not strong enough. After that, Long Chen took a deep breath and unleashed the maximum flame intensity he could muster. In that instant, he became wreathed in flames. With his attention concentrated entirely on the furnace, he didn't notice that the room he was in was starting to melt. Because of it, 
an alarm started to ring out. Hearing it, Meng Chi and the others rushed in. Long Chen's room had melted, and fire red lava was spreading on the ground. Long Chen is refining pills. He's at a critical juncture, so he can't be disturbed. Everyone should get back, said Meng Chi. They were currently in the cultivation rooms of the Martial Heaven Alliance's headquarters. There were formations protecting this place. However, those formations were incinerated like paper in front of Long Chen's flames. Seeing the commotion spreading, Meng Chi and the others could only alert everyone and have them retreat. What is that little fellow doing? demanded Ku Jin Ying when she rushed over. She was vexed. Was he planning on burning down their headquarters? It's too bad Big Sister's Hikyu isn't here. She might be able to stop the flames from spreading, said Tang Wanur. Boom. Suddenly, an explosion came from Long Chen's pill furnace, and Heavenly Dao energy flowed over, forming a giant whirlpool around the moon and star refining furnace. The pill condensed the flames suddenly retracted. There was a giant hole in the ground and a burning smell in the air now. Everyone rushed over through the intense heat. Boss, what pill did you refine? asked Guo Ran. With his understanding of Long Chen, he was sure it was something good. Heaven merging pill, said Long Chen. At this moment, startled cries rang out. There was actually a medicinal pill for advancing in the heaven merging realm? Was it real? Boss, give me one. I'm willing to be test subject number one for everyone, exclaimed Guo Ran. After that, the pill furnace's lid popped open. Inside, there were no medicinal pills and only some ashy dregs. That's, Guo Ran stared. A failure Long Chen shrugged helplessly. You little brat, you destroyed the entire training room for a failure demanded Ku Jin Ying. You shouldn't blame a child when they fail. Say some encouraging words. All right, said the old man. Ku Jin Ying felt that she had gone a bit overboard, and so for the first time she didn't retort to the old man. He, it actually wasn't a complete failure. Even these pill dregs are very useful. Furthermore, I've found that the heaven merging pill is not to be consumed by ordinary people, said Long Chen. Although it was a failure, he was excited. The moon and star refining furnace had told him that the medicinal formula he was using was identical to the one that it remembered but the method of refining it was different. That was what resulted in the failure. But this failure now told him what he had to do. Boss, you wouldn't be leaving us these dregs to eat. Right, probed Guo Ran. This thing can't be eaten. If you eat it, you'll very likely die, said Long Chen. What Guo Ran jumped, tossing aside the pill dregs in his hand. Chapter 2710 The Strange Heaven Merging Pill This heaven merging pill of mine is different from other heaven merging pills. It has merged with my world energy. If others consume it, they will be rejected by that world energy, resulting in their astral space shattering. In the worst case, they'll die, explained Long Chen. It was the same pill formula but a different refining method. Long Chen's heaven merging pill had his mark in it so only he could consume it. Its effect was strong enough that even the pill dregs could kill someone. If someone was eating the complete pill, its medicinal energy would cause their astral space to instantly explode, killing them without a doubt. Long Chen also hadn't expected this. When the pill condensed, all his 108,000 astral spaces sent energy into the pill furnace. Due to too many unexpected factors appearing, the refinement ended up in failure. Other people couldn't possibly contain the power of his astral spaces. Every single one of his astral spaces was both its own unique entity yet also connected to the others. If it was possible to inject the power of one's astral space into another person's, the imbalance of power could easily cause death for them. But each person's astral space was their own world, one that only their divine sense could enter, so other people couldn't possibly attack them there. However, if you were to take the initiative to draw someone else's astral energy into your body, then that would be no different than suicide. What are you talking about? Tell us, what is this thing? Demanded Tang Wanner impatiently. He, these pill dregs can be diluted into medicinal water. You've all absorbed the 10,000 dragon essence blood. So you understand, hinted Long Chen. No, I don't. Meng Chi and the others were still befuddled. Long Chen explained. Once the medicinal dregs are diluted, they won't be so violent. You'll be able to handle absorbing their power. Although it's a failure, 
it still has the power of the heaven merging realm. You can still absorb it just like consuming a pill. Furthermore, it has my world energy inside it. My guess is that after someone absorbs it, their astral world will also change. But the details will require a test subject. Guo Ran, I believe that you volunteered? Come over here. Guo Ran instantly turned green, but Long Chen didn't give him a chance to escape. When Long Chen found a small lake, he tossed the medicinal dregs inside, and the lake immediately began to boil. Countless bubbles surged out, and many of those bubbles even contained heavenly darunes that exploded. Boss, I feel like Aya Guo Ran didn't even get to finish speaking before Long Chen tossed him in. Water splashed, and Guo Ran vanished beneath the water. However, after falling in, nothing else happened, and there were no signs of him trying to swim up. When they looked, they saw that he had sunk to the bottom of the lake and was gesturing at them, seemingly asking for help. At first, they thought that he was just joking, until his face turned purple. A dozen dragon blood warriors also entered, only to plummet like stones in the water. What's going on? After Long Chen waved his hand, Guo Ran and the others came flying out of the water. Guo Ran coughed hard, like a drowning person who had reached the shore. Boss, what was that? As soon as we enter the water, our cultivation base is sealed. We were no different than ordinary non-cultivators, said a dragonblood warrior. The other dragonblood warriors that had entered the water nodded. As soon as they entered the water, their cultivation techniques, their battle skills, their status as Empyreans, and their heavenly Tao energy were all stripped away. They felt like they were about to drown. That doesn't sound right. What about the power of your dragon blood? asked Long Chen. It was impossible to sense any of it. It was all stripped away, answered that dragon blood warrior. Long Chen suddenly grabbed Bao Buping and tossed him into the lake. Bao Buping cursed. Long Chen, you rogue. Bao Buping immediately jumped out as soon as he fell in. He was soaked and was about to continue cursing when he said, Hmm, I feel fine. Guo Ran and the others were dumbfounded. Why was Bao Buping completely fine? No. My astral space. Bao Buping suddenly noticed a slight change in his astral space. He wasn't sure what the change was though. My astral space has gotten bigger. Suddenly exclaimed a dragon blood warrior. Mine's also bigger. Said another dragon blood warrior. The others who had jumped in also noticed this slight change. An astral space was the core of a cultivator. Upon reaching the life star realm. Its foundation was formed and unless you encountered some kind of heaven-defying opportunity, it was difficult to increase its size past a certain extent. However, just that brief soak in the lake had allowed their astral spaces to grow. That was absolutely shocking. Boss, what's going on? asked Guo Ran. Long Chen was silent for a moment. This heaven-merging pill of mine is very odd. It has most likely absorbed too many energies during the refinement. Even I'm not clear on it. You were suppressed by the water because it has heavenly Tao energy in it, as well as my world energy and true dragon energy. On the other hand, Bao Buping doesn't train in the dragon blood body tempering art, so he isn't as suppressed as you guys. Other than the heavenly Tao suppression, he can still use his cultivation technique and such. Either way, my world energy can cause your astral spaces to grow. The water now has the power of heaven merging so you can absorb it to increase your cultivation bases and grow your astral spaces. Although this refinement counts as a failure in the end, it's extremely beneficial to us. Everyone was delighted to hear this, and quite a few of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples were impatient to start. However, just as they were talking, the bubbles in the water faded. It returned to calm. The medicinal energy has run out. A trash pill was only able to maintain the effects for a very short time. But I'll be refining more. I'll trouble the Alliance head to find some more suitable places for all the disciples to cultivate, said Long Chen. Only then did Ku Jianying recover from her shock. She had heard of the heaven merging pill, but those stories never mentioned such a heaven defying effect. Since this was the case, she no longer wanted to blame Long Chen and quickly made some arrangements. After all, they had to find some baths for people to train. They had to separate the men and women. And it would be best if the different powers had separate places. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Wan Er, I'll need your help to refine pills this time. 
Long Chen turned to them. Due to his previous failure, his spiritual strength was low. However, with their assistance, he would definitely succeed. Chapter 2711 Once more changing it Long Chen. Didn't you want to refine pills? Why have you brought us fishing? If the Alliance head learns of this, she's going to scold you. Teased Meng Qi. Long Chen had brought Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Dong Mingyu, and Yu Xiaokian with him to a lake with nice scenery. He then took out his fishing gear and used some fruit as bait. Meng Qi and the others found it both startling and funny, not knowing what he was thinking. They all sat on a boulder, with Long Chen resting his head on Meng Qi's leg. At this moment, his eyes were half closed as he leisurely accepted the peeled grape that Meng Qi gave him not forgetting to kiss her hand, which caused her to wrap his head. You always act like a rogue. Always acting upright is too tiring. I need to relax every now and then. It's been a long time since I've soaked in the... Come out to play. Long Chen changed his sentence midway. There was no longer any sunlight to soak in. Now, darkness shrouded the heavens. Even the fish in the water were rather listless, and the wild beasts in the mountains hid in their caves most of the time. Fortunately, fishing wasn't necessarily about the fish, just the activity relaxed a person. At this moment, Long Chen felt weary both mentally and physically. He had rarely felt such a feeling ever since coming into the cultivation world. That was a feeling of helplessness. There were too many things waiting for him to handle. It felt like he had countless burdens to carry and was collapsing under that weight. Long Chen, it's been hard on you. Meng Qi gently stroked Long Chen's cheek. She and the others were all worried for him. Long Chen had the weight of the five sovereigns trust on him, including the future of the uncountable lives on the continent. They couldn't imagine what it would feel like to have such pressure on them. He, it's all right. As long as you're by my side, I feel like my heart is steady. I don't have faith in any gods. You are all my faith. You give me limitless power. Don't worry. This is just a little breather. I, Long Chen, will stand at the peak of this world. Once this tribulation is over, how about we have a proper marriage ceremony? I'll definitely hold the grandest wedding for you. The entire world will give us their blessings, said Long Chen. Despite all of them having given their hearts to him eternally, they still blushed when he brought up this topic. As the biggest, why don't you answer for all of you? Long Chen smiled and held Meng Qi's hand. All of them called Meng Qi Big Sister. On the Martial Heaven continent, this kind of seniority was considered very important. Since Meng Qi was the one who had an arranged marriage agreement with Long Chen from the start, all of them called her Big Sister. In the secular world, the expression three wives, four concubines usually referred to one principal wife, two ordinary wives, and four concubines. The principal wife was also called the first wife the primary wife, and the head wife, while the ordinary wives were sometimes called side wives. As for the concubines, there was even less that needed to be said. Their position was very low. Although the cultivation world didn't have as many formalities, there was still some importance on this kind of seniority. Based on Meng Qi's kindness and honesty, all of them were willing to respect her as the first. Calling her the biggest naturally had some teasing note to it causing Meng Qi to redden. If she opened her mouth and accepted, that would be recognizing that she was the principal wife. How could such a thing be recklessly decided? Don't mess around, rebuked Meng Qi. I'm being serious, said Long Chen Novaloon.com Meng Qi righteously said. Then let me ask you, what about Len Yuian and Mian Kangyu? Furthermore, a wedding requires the blessing of the father and mother. You, you haven't even found our father and mother. How can we have a wedding? Meng Qi felt that it wasn't suitable to call them his father and mother. But when she said our father and mother, she also felt awkward since they hadn't gone through that formality yet, causing her to redden further. Hearing that, Long Chen fell silent. Len Yuian and Mian Kangaya were in the netherworld. Furthermore, the two of them had become his women. A wedding couldn't possibly be lacking them. Moreover, Meng Qi was right about his parents. If he didn't know about them, then that would have been one thing. But if they were still alive, it would be completely unfilial of him to hold a wedding without them present. Long Chen helplessly said, I just, I know, 
You want to give us that status, but we really don't care. As long as we're with you, that alone is better than anything else, said Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Yu Ziaokian, and Dong Mingyu also nodded. Long Chen was extremely moved. Every single one of them was like a heavenly fairy. While he was who he was, he didn't know how he had gained their love, so he didn't know what to say. Big Brother Long Chen, you can tell us anything, even if we can't help you. At least we can share the burden if you want. Maybe we can do some small things. Dong Mingyu held Long Chen's hand. Before this, other than Meng Chi, none of them knew that Long Chen had had his spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone taken as a child. Nor did they know about his past which was even worse than being bullied in the Phoenix Cry Empire. Long Chen kept many of his problems inside of him, suffering on his own while he smiled on the outside. That made them all feel aggrieved. They had been tricked by his outside appearance, not knowing just how weary his heart was. That's right. We're all your wives. What can't you tell us? Said Chu Yao. Long Chen nodded. There's not that much. My thoughts are just a bit chaotic right now, as there are many things to do. With you by my side, I feel free to be myself. You know how to talk. First you praise us, and then you don't actually tell us anything, said Tang Wan'er, dissatisfied with this response. All right, there are a number of things I have to do. First, I have to refine pills. Not just the heaven merging pills, but other very important pills as well which will take a large amount of time. Second, I need to think of a way to find the Eastern Wasteland Bell, but the fragment of it that I have is unable to sense it. If it doesn't return in time for the next battle, we will be at an immense disadvantage. Third, the five sovereigns have transmitted all their techniques to me. As I used them to corroborate my own techniques, I noticed that perhaps I've cultivated my nine-star hegemon body art incorrectly. I might need to change my cultivation path again. Chapter 2712 Clone Change It Again? Didn't you already change it before? Asked Meng Chi. Last time, in order to forcibly gain more power, Long Chen had changed the proper cultivation path of the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art. That had been so dangerous that it had almost cost him his life. If he changed it again, wouldn't it be just as dangerous? If something happened to him, then there really would be no hope left for this world. Long Chen nodded. Last time, I broke the proper sequence of the Nine Star Hegemon Body Arts cultivation path, causing it to deviate from its original path. When I condensed the Six Star Battle Armor, it was based on the image in my dreams of all Nine Stars gathering. I didn't overthink it and just placed the Six Stars based on that arrangement. Although I succeeded, I could vaguely tell that something was off but not what exactly. Using the Sovereign's techniques as a reference, I understand. This current arrangement of the six stars is the simplest, lowest, and most useless arrangement. When I fought against the Sovereign's, I thought to myself, why was I so weak? I'm the nine star heir, and I've had countless hints indicating to me just how terrifying this cultivation technique is. But when I asked myself honestly, I didn't think that I would be a match for the sovereigns in a one against one. That doesn't make sense. Now I understand that I have a divine blade, but I'm fighting with the scabbard. That's why I'm so weak. These words would definitely make the experts like the blood fiend devil lord cough up blood if they heard them. Someone who had blocked the attacks of all five sovereigns described himself as weak? Did that leave any room for others to live? Meng Chi and the others didn't have much of an understanding of the Nine Star Hegemon body art. Its origins were unclear, and Long Chen didn't dare to explain the full story to them for fear of karma. Even changing an ordinary cultivation technique is extremely difficult and dangerous, let alone yours, said Meng Chi anxiously. I know, it's fine, promised Long Chen. I figured out the rough shape. With the experience from the sovereigns, it became clear and simple to me. I even suspect that the sovereigns were intentionally drawing my attention to this. However, even with the base figured out, I still need to slowly figure out the details. Long Chen sighed here, while Men Chi and the others exchanged a helpless glance. Whether it was refining pills, looking for the Eastern Wasteland Bell, or changing the Nine Star Hegemon body art, they could only listen to his troubles. They had no way of helping him. 
the martial heaven continent is surrounded by trouble, and time is incomparably precious. I wish I could clone myself. Wait. Clones. Long Chen suddenly jumped up, his eyes brightening. Ha ha ha. I've thought of it. Thought of what asked Meng Chi and the others. I can condense some clones of myself to help me handle things. Long Chen suddenly excitedly hugged Meng Chi and gave her a kiss. Following up with Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yu Xiaokian, and Dong Eminjiu. They blushed, but seeing him as excited as a child, they also grew excited. However, Meng Chi said, condensing clones isn't so simple. A mistake can cause your realm to drop. Most clones were condensed at lower realms. By the heaven merging realm, it was extremely rare. Most stopped by the life star realm, as the risks were too great beyond that. No need to worry. Sovereign Ching Shu has a cloning art that I can use as a reference. It has no side effects. Long Chen suddenly formed hand seals and instantly transformed into two. Ha ha ha. It's done. Both Long Chen's laughed like mirror images. That's just a projection clone. Meng Chi and the others didn't understand. Was such a clone useful at all? Don't be impatient Long Chen smiled. Evil Moon. Linger. Little Heaven. Evil Moon. The Demon Moon Furnace. And the Heaven Flipping Seal appeared and then merged into his clone. The clone frowned. Long Chen. What are you doing? That voice was Evil Moon's. However, the clone suddenly cutely bounced and said. Wow. This is fun. Seeing his clone put its chin on both its hands with that kind of expression made Long Chen hastily say. Don't have me act cute like that. Meng Chi and the others had never seen Long Chen act in such a way. So they laughed. Evil Moon. You control the clone. Said Long Chen. Seeing himself act like that was not good. Nope. I refuse. This leather bag is ugly. Declined Evil Moon directly. Haha. <laughs> this body is fine. Little Heaven is the best and won't fight with me over it. Said Ling Er. This clone of Long Chen's began to hop around excitedly which made Meng Chi and the others roll on the ground in laughter. Little Heaven was reserved and didn't like talking, while Evil Moon disdained having to control a clone. Ling Er, you can control this clone, but you have to remember, you are me in the view of outsiders. Don't cause them to see through your identity, warned Long Chen. Understood. So when there aren't outsiders, I can act as I please. The clone giggled, raising Long Chen's goosebumps. A bad premonition rose in his heart. As expected, the clone ran over to Meng Chi, giggling. Sisters, today is a happy day. I'll dance for you. Ai Yu Long Chen grabbed his clone by the neck, dragging it back. For the first time in his life, he felt an urge to choke himself. Stop messing around. Meng Chi and the others were still laughing. It was their first time seeing Long Chen's face go through so many expressions. Seeing Long Chen angry. Ling Er stuck out her tongue, causing Meng Chi and the others to almost faint. Heavens, Long Chen covered his face, weeping without tears. If it weren't for the fact that he had no other options, he would destroy this new clone of his. Big brother, don't get angry. I was just teasing you, said Ling Er, pulling on his hand. That's enough. I don't like holding a man's hands, even if it's my own, said Long Chen, taking a deep breath. He calmed himself and said, let's prepare to start refining the heaven merging pills. Chapter 2713 Heaven Merging Demon Pill Boom The moon and star refining furnace shuddered, and Meng Qi's forehead was glistening with sweat. Her spiritual strength had dropped a full 60% in order to finish this final step. After that, the lid slowly opened and nine glistening medicinal pills were reflected in everyone's eyes. Meng Qi and the others cheered. They had refined nine high-grade heaven merging pills with pill rings. Succeeding in the very first attempt delighted the women. At this moment, Long Chen picked one up and closely examined it. He nodded. As expected, this pill can be consumed. Long Chen, why are the pills that we refine even better than the ones that you refined? Asked Meng Chi. Long Chen's clone was currently being controlled by Ling Er, and as an item spirit, her spiritual strength was limited. That was why Meng Chi was supporting the refinement with her spiritual strength. They succeeded on the first try with Ling Er controlling things, but Long Chen had ended up failing in his first attempt. That was curious to them. That is because the clone that Ling Er is controlling doesn't have my astral energy. There is no additional energy for the pill to absorb. 
Thus there is no world energy causing it to be inedible, said Long Chen. This clone's essence, qi, and spirit were controlled by Evil Moon, Little Heaven, and Ling'er. However, the clone had no astral spaces. Without the energy of his astral spaces entering the pill, it was easier to refine. Meng Qi, you rest. In a bit, you and Chu Yao can try to work together. This time, we'll aim to refine a top-grade pill, said Long Chen. An hour later, another furnace of pills was finished. However, this time the sky rumbled and lightning tribulation clouds appeared. The appearance of a top-grade pill resulted in the jealousy of the heavens. Long Chen completely ignored this pill tribulation. He opened the lid, and nine beams of light shot out into the tribulation clouds. What a wild power. It actually attacked the pill tribulation Meng Chi and the others were startled. Top grade pills had a certain level of spirituality and were normally afraid of heavenly tribulation. However, this furnace of pills actually transformed into swords stabbing into the heavens. At this moment, lightning was crashing down, but it was shattered by the swords. Even the tribulation clouds were broken. Not good. They're running, cried out Meng Chi and the others. The tribulation was unable to stop these pills. Most top grade pills would be destroyed during tribulation and even if they survived, they would be normally exhausted. But these pills had destroyed the tribulation clouds and ran. All of a sudden, a lightning dragon appeared and devoured the nine swords. The dragon then vanished, and nine pills appeared in Long Chen's hand. Those pills all emitted a majestic aura. They were translucent. Inside, it was possible to see mountains and rivers, flowers and birds. It was like they contained an entire world with light and spiritual chi flowing within them. Top grade tribulation pills? Just like that. Yu Ziaokian covered her mouth, completely shocked. A top grade pill was extremely rare. Some alchemists could spend a lifetime without refining one. Any top grade pills that were refined were viewed as treasures to be passed down. They rarely were allowed to undergo tribulation. But Long Chen could refine nine top grade tribulation pills just like that. Would eating them allow us to rapidly increase our realm? Asked Meng Chi. Long Chen shook his head. The high-grade heaven merging pills can be consumed, but these top-grade tribulation pills contain too much of the will of the heavenly deos. If not controlled properly, they might explode in your body. Hence, they should instead be placed in formations that extract their energy bit by bit for others to absorb. Even so, their effect is dozens of times greater than the high-grade pills. Then let's refine some more. We can take turns resting and refining. We can also call Cloud and Luru Ian over, said Tang Wan Er excitedly. No, they've just advanced. Their cultivation path is different from ours, so we shouldn't disturb them at this important time. We'll take turns with just us, said Long Chen, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan Er, Dong Ming and Yu Ziaoki and took turns supporting Ling'er with their spiritual strength. Meanwhile, Ling'er focused on controlling Long Chen's clone and refining the pills with the moon and star refining furnace. The reason that she needed to control Long Chen's clone to refine the heaven merging pill was because it required a certain conduit to heaven and earth. Long Chen's clone provided that conduit, and that was what allowed the pill to contain more energy from the heavenly deos. This also meant that the heaven merging pill was one of the few pills that the moon and star refining furnace and linger were unable to refine completely on their own. Meng Chi and the others refined five furnaces of pills before they needed a break. Now, it was Long Chen's turn. However, this time, Long Chen used the demon moon furnace. He said to Ling'er, I will be the main force, while you assist me. Focus on controlling the furnace, if you are unable to split your attention. Leave the clone to Evil Moon to control. After saying that, Long Chen focused on himself completely. This time, he was refining a demonic pill. Although its medicinal energy was terrifying, there were many unsure factors that could make him fail the refinement. At this moment, the pill furnace rumbled. Long Chen's flame energy burned to its fullest as the pill condensed, and his spiritual strength was fully unleashed. At the same time, his clone's spiritual strength also aided the refinement. The pill furnace then rumbled intensely. Even the heavens and the earth quivered with every shake of the furnace. The distant mountains began to collapse. Boom. Suddenly, cracks spread in the ground, covering this entire area. 
The demon moon furnace shuddered so intensely it was like some weapon was attacking its walls on the inside. Damn, these pills really are ruthless. It hurts, exclaimed Linger. The refinement was complete. Nine pills were striking the furnace like shooting stars, trying to break free. Release one of them, said Long Chen. When it appeared, the void darkened as lightning crashed down. Black Chi gushed out of the pill, and it transformed into human shape. The human form it took was actually Long Chen. However, this Long Chen's eyes were red, and it emitted a demonic aura. Surprisingly, this figure ignored the lightning in the sky and chose to immediately strike Long Chen. Boom. Long Chen received its punch with his fist. As a result, the ground beneath his feet exploded. Just at that moment, the pill sent a foot kicking toward his crotch with lightning speed. Long Chen hastily raised his own leg to block. Suddenly, Long Chen's expression changed and his hand shot up toward his ear. Chapter 2714 Long Chen's uneasy hand stopped just three inches from Long Chen's face. Seeing this scene, Meng Chi and the others covered their mouths in shock, filled with disbelief. That was clearly Long Chen's divine face slapping art. A silent and ephemeral attack. Long Chen himself was almost struck by it. Long Chen furiously pulled down that hand, smashing it into the ground. As a result, that Long Chen exploded, transforming into a medicinal pill. Get them all out here, barked Long Chen. The demon moon furnace opened and eight medicinal pills flew out. Before they even manifested their shape, Long Chen's fist landed, blasting apart the runes surrounding them. After that, all the medicinal pills were grabbed and tossed into his primal chaos space. Suddenly, the lightning in the sky vanished, with the medicinal pills gone from this world. The tribulation also vanished. Right now, Meng Chi and the others came forward curiously. Long Chen took out the heaven merging pills once more. They were as black as charcoal, but specks of light flowed within them like countless stars. These heaven merging pills gave off an extremely sinister feeling, completely different from the heaven merging pills that they had previously refined. This medicinal pills pill spirit is incredible. If Long Chen refined a few thousand, wouldn't that be an army? Tang Wan'er smacked her lips. That pill had fought exactly like Long Chen just now. Although its aura was weaker, it possessed a portion of his power and combat experience. That was enough to give it incredible power. The face-slapping art in particular had almost struck Long Chen. Anyone else would probably have no chance of dodging. Long Chen shook his head. These demonic pills can't be controlled like that. Tang Wan'er was disappointed. That was truly a pity. She was already envisioning an army of pills commanded by Long Chen. The reason demon pills were called so was due to how nefarious they were. There were many inexplicable things about them, let alone them. Even Linger, the item spirit of the demon moon furnace, was unable to fully explain the abilities of demon pills. Demon pills contained a different kind of power in this universe, one that others couldn't explain. Not even the Pill Sovereign's memories had information on that. The only thing that could be said was that this power was demonic. Long Chen then looked at the demonic pills in his hand. These pills are like a mirror reflecting all the energies inside my body. Flame energy. Thunder force. The power of my astral spaces. I can even vaguely feel the auras of my divine ring and six-star battle armor. Other than the primal chaos space. All my secrets are within it. This was truly shocking. Even during his heavenly tribulation, the heavenly deus had been unable to replicate most of his abilities. But these demonic pills had managed to do so. These demonic pills had not just absorbed his own energy but also the energy of this world. In addition to an unclear demonic energy, it could be said that these pills were made based on his body. To others, it was a pill of destruction that would kill anyone who consumed them. At this moment, Long Chen, Meng Chi, and the others began to crazily refine pills. After three furnaces of demonic pills, he tried refining a giant pill. The result was that the giant pill actually came out to fight him, and its power was shocking. It reflected practically all his techniques, even the Azure Dragon battle armor. However, it didn't have true blood chi backing it, so its power couldn't compare to Long Chen. It was still defeated and transformed into a large medicinal pill. Six-colored light flowed over it, just like Long Chen's divine ring. 
This divine ring had six stars shining within it just like when Long Chen summoned it. However, while it was able to imitate the divine ring and six star battle armor, it was unable to use that kind of power. Despite that, the power of this pill still made Meng Chi and the others jump. When this giant pill transformed into Long Chen, the red light in its eyes was extremely frightening. It was like a devil king. Long Chen and the giant pill fought an intense battle. The pill was extremely vicious, exchanging ruthless blows just to injure Long Chen. If it weren't for Long Chen having an absolute advantage in terms of power, he really might have been wounded. This giant demonic pill seemed to contain an entire star. It was like the explosive power of an entire world was compressed inside, ready to erupt at any moment. After beating it, Long Chen rested, while Meng Chi and the others continued refining pills. As for Long Chen, he was examining the giant pill. The starry light of the giant pill illuminated Long Chen's face. It was like a mirror, looking at himself inside of the demonic pill. Long Chen felt a chill. A sense of fear slowly crept over his heart. The self that he saw within the demonic pill looked completely foreign. It was like the souls of millions of devils condensed into his shape. Just a glance at this version of himself could cause someone to want to die. Who are you? Looking at himself in the giant demonic pill, Long Chen clenched his fist. Through this refinement, it felt like he saw another soul within his body. It was an extremely sinister, bloodthirsty, and violent soul. It was like all the evil of the world was condensed inside of it. The moment Long Chen spoke to the demonic pill, the demonic pill spoke back to him, saying the same words. It was a mirror seemingly reflecting his inner heart, and it didn't give him any answer. Long Chen finally sighed and closed his eyes. For some reason, just staring at this version of himself made him feel exhausted. Was it the pill sovereign's will? No. The pill sovereign's will was arrogant but not evil. A heart devil? No. A heart devil reflected the most important part of someone, making it consume the rest of a person's mind. Just what was it? Long Chen vaguely felt uneasy. In this world, the most frightening thing was the unknown. He vaguely sensed that there was something within him. Although it had never influenced him, it still made him feel afraid. In order to not worry Meng Chi and the others, he didn't mention this to them. But as time passed, he realized something, even though he always tried to avoid wrapping them in his karma. In truth, from the moment they met, they were already within his karma. That was why he was now comfortable enough to share these things with them. Even the name of the nine-star hegemon body art and some of what he knew about it. If it comforted them, he was comfortable telling them these things. He had a feeling that telling them wasn't a bad thing. Long Chen, news has come from the Alliance. The Yun Yang world has launched an attack. Suddenly, Tang Wanner ran over anxiously. Chapter 2715 The Sinister Play So Quickly. Long Chen was startled. This was currently the time when everyone was resting and focusing entirely on increasing their realm. At this moment, time was in the invaders' favor, and it had only been a few days. So why would they launch an attack? Tang Wanner reported. The Alliance sent word that the Yun Yang world launched a sudden attack with 100,000 heaven merging experts. They caught us off guard, and by the time we gathered our forces, they retreated. However, then Devil Spirit Mountain attacked. There is also the demon race from the ancient battlefield and the undying race of resentful Death City. They all launched sudden attacks and pulled back just as we prepared to strike back. Long Chen nodded. The undying race. The blood race. The devil race, and the demon race really are prudent. Even with such an advantage over us, they are still doing everything they can to increase their odds. They're disturbing us so that we can't properly cultivate. They had launched sneak attacks, but they were nothing more than disturbances. At the same time, they could also probe the real situation of the continent. Their sneak attacks killed over 10,000 of our heaven merging experts. That's not a good omen. Those bastards are all hateful. Tang Wan'er clenched her teeth furiously. War is simply like that. Any and all methods are used, and there are no rules to speak of. For victory, anything goes and that is the correct path. Long Chen smiled and comforted Tang Wan'er. Even after all these years, she still had a child's temper. Battle was not a game. How are you still smiling? Tang Wan'er glared at him. What else should I do? Cry? If crying could win a battle, 
I don't mind crying until the heavens are flooded. Long Chen became serious. All right. Did the report say anything about the power of these sneak attacks? What level have they reached? Tang Wan'er said. The Alliance's news said that their main force was composed of newly advanced heaven merging experts. The senior heaven merging experts were just in charge of directing the troops. However, these new heaven merging experts have reached the mid-realm. Somewhere between the 4th heaven stage and the 5th heaven stage. So high. Long Chen was startled. It had only been a bit more than 10 days since the tribulation. How had they reached the mid-heaven merging realm? Even with the Dragonblood warriors focusing on cultivation and the assistance of medicinal pills, Gu Yang and the others had only reached the second heaven stage. There were also some sects that had disciples forcibly raise their realms regardless of risks to their foundations. However, even so, only over 500 people on the entire continent had reached the third heaven stage. Those people had sacrificed their foundations in order to increase their cultivation speed. But even so, their enemies had advanced to the mid-heaven merging realm. That speed truly caused despair. Exactly. It's crazy. Their sneak attacks didn't cause too many casualties for the continent. But it's a serious blow to the continent's morale, said Tang Wan'er. The fact that Long Chen had destroyed the karmic luck pearl resulting in the continent no longer being able to produce a sovereign was already a heavy stone on people's hearts. But now, adding on the enemy's terrifying cultivation speed, they couldn't see the slightest hope. No matter how they cultivated with their lives on the line, it was meaningless. The difference was too great. This is most likely intentional. They want our confidence to collapse. So I would guess that they created these troops just for this attack. With such rapid cultivation, it's no longer a matter of their foundations growing unsteady. Their cultivation bases are essentially set in stone. They will never advance again. Each world sacrificed a hundred thousand people just to shake our confidence. He, they have some gods, said Long Chen. He refused to believe that there was a way to allow someone who had just advanced to heaven merging to reach the fourth or fifth heaven stage without some kind of prize. The Xuan Master is of the same opinion. He said that this is mental warfare, and they definitely won't stop with just this. As they shake our confidence, they also disturb our cultivation, forcing us to be too nervous to cultivate properly, said Tang Wan'er. Long Chen smiled. The Xuan Master is correct. Did he say how we should counter them? He did not. Long Chen was somewhat speechless. All right, then I guess he left this problem to me. However, Thinking about it, he supposed that this was the correct call. He was currently the hope of the Martial Heaven continent. If he was the one to settle this problem, it would raise the continent's morale much more, and he would shatter their enemies' mental warfare. Then what should we do? Asked Tang Wan'er. What else? We'll strike back. We must have the initiative in our hands, or we'll slowly be suffocated to death. Have the Dragonblood Legion go out and split into four to attack the four worlds. Have them work with Mo Nian and Zi Yan. Wild also came back yesterday, and Zhikyu has come out of seclusion. Every group will have a supreme divine item protecting them, said Long Chen. Will that work? What if they fall into our enemy's trap? Furthermore, if they encounter someone like the high priest, they'll be in danger. Tang Wan'er was not at ease with such a plan. In truth, their sneak attacks are entirely unnecessary. We're already weaker than them. They have experts that need to become sovereigns, and that requires gathering the power of an entire world. By sneak attacking us, they've ended up reminding me what we should be doing. We will strike their worlds, disturbing the laws of their world so that the Aldevil Heavenwalker, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, and the others are unable to become sovereigns as quickly. That will win us precious time. If they don't become sovereigns, they won't dare to enter the Martial Heaven continent, said Long Chen. The Blood Fiend Devil Lord, the Aldevil Heaven Walker, Yi Ming, and the Nine Headed Lion had all been defeated by Long Chen. If they wanted vengeance, they had to become sovereigns first. Otherwise, they wouldn't dare to find trouble for Long Chen again, or they would be purely courting death. Then what about us refining pills? asked Tang Wan'er. If they weren't here refining pills, the Dragonblood Legion would have their cultivation speed slowed down greatly. We'll be refining pills here as usual. We don't need to bother with them. 
Didn't I already say that Mo Nian will be there? He can direct everyone. We'll just come over if they need us, said Long Chen. You're not going, asked Tang Wan'er, surprised. No, I want to focus entirely on refining pills. Once there are enough, I need to go look for the Eastern Wasteland Bell, said Long Chen. Long Chen then called over Meng Chi and the others. He had them stop with their refinement of the ordinary heaven merging pills because they already had enough to last the Dragon Blood Legion a long time. Instead, they helped him refine demonic pills. Once he had enough, he would go out in search of the Eastern Wasteland Bell, leaving his clone to refine the ordinary heaven merging pills with Meng Chi and the others. Just as they were refining the demonic heaven merging pills as quickly as possible, the Dragon Blood Legion received his orders and began to mobilize. Chapter 2716 Striking back after the Dragon Blood Legion was assembled, Mo Nian, Zi Yan, Wild, and Yi Zhikyu split them up into four groups and led them off to their own targets. Mo Nian brought the first group to Resentful Death City. In order to display the Mo family's might, he specifically brought 10,000 of the Mo family's elite disciples, the strongest warriors. They were all handpicked by Mo Nian. He had decided to also train his own legion like Long Chen. However, the Mo family's legion was composed of master archers with overwhelming offensive power while lacking defensive power. With the Dragon Blood Warriors, they now had people skilled in both close and long range battle. If Ku Jinying didn't harshly warn Mo Nian not to mess around, he might even have the urge to lead these people in destroying Resentful Death City. The second group was Li Qi's court, led by Yi Zhikyu. Their target was the devil race of Devil Spirit Mountain. The third group was Song Mingyuan's court, led by Wild. In order to be safe, Xia Chen and Guo Ran joined this group. While Wild's power was terrifying, he was like a child. This group specifically chose to target the ancient battlefield, because that place was filled with the demon race. In other words, food for Wild. Wild had just returned, but his body was now covered in strange marks. He had two horns shining on top of his head, and his blood chi was like fire, twisting the void around him. They still didn't know where the western desert axe had brought Wild, but now that he was back, his aura had become much fiercer. He truly did appear like a monster. Fortunately, while his aura was frightening, his character was still the same. Furthermore, the western desert axe on his back had recovered a great deal. Most of the rust on it was gone, revealing its divine luster. Even upon returning, Wild's mouth never paused. He was constantly picking out things from a fur sack on his chest and tossing them into his mouth. Those things were fist-sized corpses of 13th rank beasts. Wild was actually treating them as snacks. Furthermore, it seemed like he would never be full. The fourth group was Yu Zifeng's corp and Zi Yan and Yu Zifeng led it together. Yu Zifeng had also just returned. After the tribulation, he had gone to the Heavenly Sword Gate to pay respects to his master, the old sect master of the Zhuanshan Monastery, Ling Yunzi. That trip had taken 10 days. Upon returning, the ordinary sword he usually used was gone, replaced with an ancient, fearful sword. Although it had never come out of its sheath, it gave a feeling that if it ever did, it would definitely cause a storm of blood. With that sword, Yu Zifeng's entire aura became colder. However, since he rarely spoke, no one asked him what had happened. As a sword cultivator, his offensive power was incomparable. Moreover, with Zi Yana's support, there was definitely no problem with their group. In order to be absolutely safe, it wasn't just the Dragon Blood Legion who was mobilized. Yi Lingxian, Nangong Zuayu. Bidang Rushuang, and Zeman Shiangshan also joined the four groups. As soon as they were gathered, they flew off in four different directions, going toward Resentful Death City, Devil Spirit Mountain, the Ancient Battlefield, and the Yun Yang World. When Mo Nian arrived in Resentful Death City, he immediately encountered a group of the Undying Race's experts. After their first sneak attack, they were in the midst of preparing for a second assault. They were playing tactics thinking that the Martial Heaven Continent would definitely not expect a second assault right after the first one. They were planning on consecutive attacks to wipe out the Martial Heaven Continent's morale. As a result, they were still in the midst of a speech to raise their own morale when Mo Nian arrived. 
Ha! We arrived at the right time. Mo Nian gave the order, and the Mo family's disciples' bows curved like crescent moons. Arrows rained down like lightning on the undying race's experts. This group of the undying race had just returned, and now they found that the martial heaven continent had caught their tail. For a moment, chaos reigned in their midst. After the wave of arrows, Gu Yang led the Dragonblood warriors charging forward. While they were only at the early heaven merging realm, they still slaughtered these mid-heaven merging experts before them. Don't crush them. Keep their heads intact, shouted Mo Nian. The Dragonblood warriors were too fierce, and their attacks destroyed these experts' very existence. Long Chen said that he wanted their heads as compensation to the martial heaven continent. If they were destroyed, then there would be no proof. However, it was useless. These undying experts were unable to block a single swing of the Dragonblood Warriors' swords. It's no good, shouted Gu Yang. The Dragonblood Warriors had started off by absorbing the pill dregs of Long Chen's first refinement. Due to it containing his world energy, their astral spaces grew once more. Later on, Long Chen refined demonic pills, and their energy was absorbed by the warriors through formations, resulting in their astral spaces growing as their realm increased. Their astral spaces were now twice as large as before. A heaven merging expert merged heavenly Tao energy with the world energy in their astral spaces. With that world energy as a foundation, the power they could unleash multiplied. Hence, there was no longer any way for them to control themselves. They couldn't keep the heads of the enemies intact. Fine, then work hard. I'll just have to use a photographic jade as proof. Mo family disciples, hear my orders. Use the life-ending arrows. Don't let a single enemy escape hearing that. The Mo family's disciples took out black arrows with countless barbs. Every barb had a blood-colored rune on it. Those blood-colored runes contained their life energy. Once those runes pierced into an enemy's body, they would automatically detonate. They could also detonate with the will of their master. Once it exploded, a curse rune would be born. One that instantly sucked away the life of an expert. This was a secret art that Mo Nian had found in an ancient tomb. He had specially made these arrows afterward. The Dragonblood warriors were like tigers descended upon a group of sheep. Those hundred thousand undying experts were quickly slaughtered. In just four breaths time, they were fleeing in all directions. By fleeing, they became live targets for the Mo family's disciples. Arrows pierced through their undying bodies, their protective divine light unable to stop the arrows. Those who were pierced by the arrows died without being able to make a sound. They simply fell limply to the ground. Retreat. Mo Nian suddenly glanced at the core of resentful Death City and waved his hand. Everyone rapidly fell back. You think you can run now? Keep dreaming. A giant hand crashed down from the sky, shattering space, enveloping every dragonblood warrior and disciple of the Mo family. Chapter 2717 Beat out your bull ball The central plane's cauldron appeared above Mo Nian's head and unleashed a ray of divine light that shattered the large hand. That brief delay was all it took for the Dragonblood Warriors and the Mo family's disciples to flee back to the Martial Heaven continent. Mo Nian suddenly raised the heaven-seizing sun hunting bow. A ray of light shot out through the sky of resentful Death City. The light exploded above the city like a beautiful firework, illuminating the world. Bastard. Countless furious roars suddenly rang out from within resentful Death City. Countless experts in seclusion were startled awake by this arrow. Mo Nian's attack had caused the laws of this world to become chaotic, forcing these experts in seclusion to wake up from their cultivation state. The human race's Mo Nian is here. Continue what you were doing. I'll be back later. Mo Nian's voice resounded throughout resentful Death City, but he himself was hiding within the Central Plains cauldron and flying back to the Martial Heaven continent. Perfect. Mo Nian and Gu Yang high-fived when he returned. The two of them laughed at the success of this sneak attack. They stood guard outside of the entrance to the corrupt god cemetery. According to the high priest, the worlds had not fully linked up, so old monsters from those worlds would be suppressed if they set foot onto the continent, resulting in them not daring to do so. Otherwise, if they were to face the high priest or Daoist heavenly feather, they wouldn't even have a chance to run. Bastard human race. None of you will be able to cultivate like this either, shouted the undying race's experts. 
How laughable. You were the ones who wanted to play. We're just accompanying you. What? You don't like playing this way. Mo Nian eyed those experts disdainfully. Stop spouting crap and fight. Gu Yang was even more direct, pointing his spear right at them. Resentful Death City was now fully linked to the Corrupt God Cemetery, so the Corrupt God Cemetery could already be considered the outer region of Resentful Death City. Furthermore, Resentful Death City was not the same as when Long Chen had seen it. It was now connected to several other worlds and was even larger. However, no matter how large it grew, it was not fully merged with the Martial Heaven Continent. Those experts on the level of living fossils would be suppressed by the laws of the Martial Heaven Continent. As long as they didn't come, Gu Yang and the others had nothing to be afraid of. HMPH, Little Rabbits, why don't you try coming in again? A dark-faced, almost skeletal elder appeared within the corrupt god cemetery. This was precisely the old monster that had previously fought Sovereign Zi Yang. He was an extremely terrifying existence. Old calf, why don't you try coming to our side? Let's see if I can beat some bull balls out of you. Cursed Mo Nian. Bull balls? The elder was first confused, but he quickly realized what Mo Nian meant, and fury filled his eyes. However, he suddenly laughed. Ignorant brat, the day that I set foot on the Martial Heaven continent, you will regret coming to this world. Who do you think you are? Come over right now and let's exchange 300 blows. Mo Nian aimed his bow at the elder. Of course, Mo Nian didn't dare to challenge such a terrifying monster. That was an existence that had even fought against Sovereign Zi Yang. The Sovereign Zi Yang of that time was not the Sovereign Zi Yang that had appeared in Long Chen's Heavenly Tribulation. It was the true Sovereign Zi Yang that stood at the peak of the martial path. In terms of true strength, the current Mo Nian didn't match a single pinky from this old monster. Even if the continent's laws did suppress him when he came over, Mo Nian would still be forced to flee. However, if he really did come, then the High Priest, Daoist Heavenly Feather, and the others would immediately sense him and take action to slay him. 300 rounds. The elder laughed as if he had heard the biggest joke in the world. It had to be known that back then, he had fought Sovereign Zi Yang for three days and nights before he was defeated. Mo Nian was so unashamed as to say he would fight 300 rounds with him? Do you not have confidence in lasting that long? Then how about 10 exchanges? If you haven't lost in 10 exchanges. I'll let you escape with your dog life. What? You don't dare. Fine. I won't use my hands or feet. I won't use my soul. I won't use magical arts. Do you dare? Provoked Mo Nian. No hands, feet, soul, or magical arts? Then what are you going to use to fight him? Asked Gu Yang. Mo Nian chortled. Just look at how terrified he is. I'll take off my pants and use my life rod. And he'll flee. Die. Suddenly. The void exploded. That old monster was finally provoked and attacked. However, the instant he entered the Martial Heaven continent, Mo Nian and the others were shocked to find that the world was frozen. Some terrifying power froze time and twisted space. Before Mo Nian could even understand what was happening or what kind of power this was, a withered claw reached toward his throat. But just as the claw was about to reach him, the twisted void split open, and cold light slashed out. Severing the elder's hand, the elder's expression changed, and he waved his staff with his other hand. The three skulls on his staff glowed, forming a brown bridge above his head. Boom. The bridge exploded and a sharp sword slashed down, striking his staff. A tempest containing the laws of multiple worlds erupted. Mo Nian, Gu Yang, and the others were sent tumbling back by that tempest. Mo Nian was the closest and ended up hacking up blood, his body cracking. Mo Nian was about to curse the Central Plains Cauldron for not protecting him just now, but then he saw the Central Plains Cauldron grow and block the entrance to the Corrupt God Cemetery. A sword slashed down from the heavens and cosmos. It seemed to contain countless stars. A sword cultivator. The elder's expression changed once more, and he slammed his hand on the ground, which then wrapped around him like a blanket. As for the three skulls on his staff, they changed color. Shining golden light on the earth around him. The earth instantly solidified, becoming a giant shield of immortal metal. What kind of technique is this? Mo Nian and the others were stunned. This was no illusion. 
He had really turned dirt into immortal metal? Was there really such a heaven-defying ability in this world? At this moment, the sword slashed onto the giant shield. Shockingly, this immortal metal was like tofu in front of the sword and was cleanly cut in two. The sword light then struck the elder. The elder seemed to have been expecting this and was murmuring some kind of incantation. His staff then grew larger, blocking the sword. Boom. The elder coughed up blood, which instantly transformed into black chi. After that, the elder snorted and waved his staff once more. A hole opened in the void, and he jumped in. Boom. However, just at this moment, a giant cauldron came flying out of the hole that he made, knocking him out. The elder had just flown out when a sword slashed down. The elder was slashed apart. Chapter 2718 GUIC Mo Nian and the others were shocked. That terrifying monster was killed? Mo Nian had managed to provoke him into charging onto the Martial Heaven continent. After that, the Central Plains Cauldron blocked his exit, trapping him here. HMPH, I, GUIC, will remember this enmity. I will definitely kill you when I descend upon the Martial Heaven continent once more. Even though his body was destroyed, his voice still rang out. The staff in his hand suddenly shrank until it was a tiny needle, which then pierced through the void and vanished without a trace. He's still not dead. Mo Nian and the others were even more shocked. That was absolutely crazy. He could still flee in this state? The divine sword in the sky also vanished once the elder fled. After that, the central plains cauldron floated over to Mo Nian. That fellow might have fled. But as Yuan's spirit is injured, he'll need to recuperate. So you won't need to worry about him temporarily. Haha. <laughs> so you mean I can go in whenever I want now? Mo Nian's eyes immediately lit up. This terrifying elder had been injured, and the Central Plains Cauldron would be enough to deal with the other experts. This meant that Mo Nian would be able to cause as much trouble as he wanted. Up to you. But don't randomly use my power unless you need to. I need to recuperate as well, said the Central Plains Cauldron. It vanished. Haha, <laughs> senior, don't worry. I, Mo Nian, am not someone who doesn't know my limits. Mo Nian laughed and suddenly furiously shouted toward the corrupt god cemetery. What are you looking at? Everyone, listen up. Slaughter them. The corrupt god cemetery had quite a few experts of the undying race who had chased Mo Nian and the others. However, after personally seeing their terrifying ancestor be beaten and flee, they were absolutely stunned. In that daze, arrows rained down on them. These experts were the elders of the undying race, with cultivation bases mostly in the early and mid-heaven merging realm. They had mostly come just as a show of power. In truth, the undying race had not used their true main forces to chase Mo Nian and the others, because although the younger generation of his people had been startled away, GUIC had ordered them to focus on their cultivation and not chase. Although they had been startled awake from their meditative states, as long as they didn't move, they would be able to slowly enter that state again with some time. However, if they were to fight and have their blood get heated, their soul shaken, it would take far longer to calm themselves back down. At the very least, it would be a few days maybe even 10 days before they could enter a meditative state that would benefit their cultivation. That was why GUIC was the one to chase them away. It was to avoid having those disciples be affected. As for the elders, their true trump cards were naturally not to be exposed so easily. That was why it was simply one peak elder leading a bunch of extras. Now that the peak elder was injured and had fled, those extras met a calamity. The Dragonblood Warriors chased them down all the way to Resentful Death City, slaughtering tens of thousands of experts. Once they were forced back, Mo Nian didn't continue chasing them. Quitting while they were ahead, he returned to the Martial Heaven Continent. Upon returning, they started resting, and the elders of the Martial Heaven Continent took charge of guarding this channel. Their purpose was mostly to give a warning to the main forces. No one was hoping for them to be able to stop the Undying Race's army. How did the other groups do? Asked Mo Nian. Gu Yang laughed delightedly. Things went even smoother for them. They didn't encounter any old monsters like us. After killing the sneak attackers, they returned. It mostly went as expected. These four worlds definitely have some secret means of communication. 
It turns out that the other sneak attackers were also gathering at the same time as the group at Resentful Death City. The sneak attacks of Resentful Death City, Devil Spirit Mountain, the Ancient Battlefield, and the Yin Yang World were too orderly. They were perfectly timed and couldn't possibly be coincidences. Furthermore, they were all preparing for the second wave at the same time. That basically confirmed that they were capable of communicating with each other. However, Wild's group went further than the others, so Wild gained quite a bit of food. He charged all the way to the core of the ancient battlefield, and the report says that the Western Desert Axe unleashed its power to slay over ten of their late heaven merging experts. As for mid-heaven merging experts and below, there's no way to count how many were killed. Wild's food sack is now full, said Gu Yang excitedly. Wild had become the master of the Western Desert Axe and the latter needed an ocean's worth of blood chi to recover. As for Wild, he needed powerful meat to grow. Their cooperation was practically a match made in heaven. The Western Desert Axe's recovery speed was amazing. It could even benefit from using its power to slaughter the demonic beasts. All right, based on the original plan, we'll rest for seven days and then launch another sneak attack, disturbing the flow of their world so that they can't properly cultivate, said Mo Nian. The Dragon Blood Legion focused on cultivating, with the heaven merging pills refined by Menchi and the others. Their cultivation speed was extremely fast. Within the formation, they didn't need to enter a meditative state as they were directly absorbing energy from the pills. As a result, Mo Nian and the Mo family's Legion benefited immensely from cultivating with them and borrowing the power of the medicinal pills. The only regretful thing to Mo Nian was that he and the other disciples of the Mo family were unable to absorb the heaven merging pills specifically refined by Long Chen. They didn't have dragon blood power or the correct cultivation technique. Forcibly absorbing it would injure them, making it not worth it. On the other hand, the dragon blood warrior's astral spaces had continued growing thanks to Long Chen's medicinal pills, all the way to the point that they were three times larger than they originally were. They reached their limit around there. However, their astral spaces were already very large compared to an ordinary person. Having them grow three times made their future potential limitless. Seven days later, as planned, Mo Nian launched another sneak attack. However, the instant they arrived, a huge number of enemies swarmed them. This place was being guarded by late heaven merging experts and it seemed that they were intent on preventing Mo Nian and the others from entering Resentful Death City through the corrupt God Cemetery. Fortunately, with the help of the Central Plains Cauldron, Mo Nian managed to break through their defenses, charging into Resentful Death City and unleashing a single arrow. That arrow had a formation carved into it by Mo Nian, and it exploded like a firework, instantly throwing the laws of heaven and earth into chaos, although it was almost immediately fixed. That instant startled all the experts awake from their meditative states Novaloon.com after unleashing that one arrow. Mo Nian led the Dragon Blood Warriors and the Mo family's disciples away once more, infuriating the undying race's experts. Mo Nian's last arrow had disturbed them, causing people to take two or three days to once more enter their meditative state. Some weaker people took five or six days. Some of them had just entered their meditative states when they were awoken driving them crazy. It was like someone with insomnia who had just fallen asleep was suddenly awoken by a cannon firing beside their ear. This fury resulted in them being even more difficult to calm down and enter the meditative state once more. The undying race's experts were infuriated. They strengthened their defenses, making sure to catch Mo Nian and the others the next time they dared to attack. As a result, this time, Mo Nian didn't wait for seven days. Instead, he returned on the very next day. Chapter 2719 Using numbers this time, Mo Nian led his group not into resentful death city, but simply to the corrupt god cemetery. There, the Mo family's disciples unleashed a torrent of arrows, and after killing a few of their guards, they ran Novaloon.com Mo Nian had caught them off guard. They had thought that he would wait until everyone was in their meditative states again before trying to disturb them again. However, he acted contrary to the ordinary, launching a sneak attack the very next day and simply running after killing a few people. Despite the damage being insignificant, it infuriated the undying race. For the next few days, 
Mo Nian continued to attack unpredictably. Sometimes it would just be two or three days between attacks. Sometimes it was six or seven days. But every now and then, he would attack multiple times in one day. Every time, he would merely launch some attacks and then run. So the undying race was unable to touch a single hair on his head. There was not a single casualty amongst the Dragonblood warriors and the Mo family's disciples. Although they didn't gain much with each attack, their enemies were unable to stop them. Their numbers were slowly ground away, infuriating the undying race. They also tried to sneak attack the Martial Heaven continent, but with Mo Nian and the others guarding the channel, they were completely blocked. If they wanted to get through, they would have to get past the Dragonblood warriors with the Mo family's disciples unleashing a rain of arrows behind them. If they wanted to charge through, they would have to pay a heavy price. But then what? What if Mo Nian then used the Central Plains Cauldron to seal the way back? They would be trapped on the Martial Heaven continent. Even their ancestor had been killed once. But for them, if they were killed, there would be no going back. Are you even thinking about your own cultivation roared one of the undying race's experts. It had been almost a month. Resentful Death City had been tormented by Mo Nian's random attacks causing their core forces to be woken out of their meditative state time and time again, slowing down their cultivation speed. Just one group of the Dragonblood Legion and the Mo family's Legion was holding them up. Although it looked like everyone was suffering together, in truth, the Martial Heaven Continent did not just have the Dragonblood Legion. Behind them were countless disciples focused on their cultivation, with no one disturbing them. That was a large threat to the invaders. We want to cultivate too, but you won't let us. What else can we do? Mo Nian shrugged helplessly. How about starting now we have a temporary sea sapphire? Said one of the undying race's experts. Finally submitting. How will that sea sapphire be enforced? You shameless fellows will attack us whenever you want. How can we possibly trust you? Sneered Mo Nian. We can swear on the Undying Spirit not to invade the Martial Heaven continent within the next half year. How's that? Mo Nian was sneering inside. Were the Undying Race's experts all so stupid? So they would only attack after half a year? Perhaps this half a year timeline was extremely important to the Undying Race. This expert had inadvertently revealed a secret to them without even realizing it. Alright, then we'll have a sea sapphire for half a year. We'll meet in half a year, said Mo Nian. That's no good. You have to swear an oath, demanded the undying expert. This fellow before him appeared particularly shameless to him. All right. Using the name of the Martial Heaven Continent's number one expert of the junior generation, Long Chen. I swear, if we betray this oath, Long Chen will be struck by five colored lightning, swore Mo Nian. That serious appearance of his almost caused Gu Yang and the others to burst into laughter. Five-colored lightning? That was an appetizer when Long Chen went through his tribulations. When had he ever cared about it? However, the undying race didn't understand that. They also had five-colored lightning tribulations, and they were a sure death heavenly punishment from the heavenly deos for those that didn't respect it. Seeing him swear such a solemn oath, the undying experts retreated. They could finally relax. However, half a month later, Mo Nian broke this oath, launching an attack once more. Due to the enemies relaxing their guard, Mo Nian managed to sneak into the core of Resentful Death City again. However, he was shocked to find that there was a gigantic tower there now. It had nine levels, and each level was filled with countless disciples cultivating. There was a sea of experts around the tower. Just those experts on the outside numbered in the millions and millions. Mo Nian was stunned to see such a sight. How did this generation of undying race have so many powerful experts? Seeing that terrifying scene, Mo Nian prepared to unleash one of his ultimate techniques in order to kill as many of them as he could. However, his aura leaked at that moment, and he was locked onto by multiple powerful experts. Hence, Mo Nian only had time to unleash one heaven-shaking arrow to disturb the laws of the heavenly deos, forcing these people out of their cultivation state. Kill. Yi Ming appeared from the top of the tower. He was the first to attack Mo Nian. When Mo Nian saw him, he jumped in shock. Yi Ming had advanced to the seventh heaven stage. As for Mo Nian, even with the support of Long Chen's medicinal pills, 
He had only reached the third Haven stage. He was only at the early stage, while Yi Ming had advanced to the late stage of Heaven merging. Mo Nian instantly connected this result with the giant tower and the undying disciples inside the tower. Yi Ming's quick cultivation speed had to be related to these millions of disciples. At the same time, Mo Nian understood why the undying race had said that they only needed half a year. At this rate, Yi Ming would easily become a sovereign before half a year. They had gathered the power of an entire world just to support one person. Yi Ming's aura towered over Mo Nian's, and with a wave of the hand, Black Chi filled the sky. Someone who lost to Long Chen isn't qualified to challenge Daddy Mo. Mo Nian snorted, and the central plane's cauldron above his head unleashed a ray of light. As a result, the void was torn open, and he immediately fled. At this moment, explosions rang throughout Resentful Death City. The Dragonblood Legion and the Mo family's disciples had also snuck in, placing Guo Ran's bombs around the outer edges of the city. Mo Nian had snuck into the core on his own, and the disturbance he made immediately caused them all to flee. Once they fled, those bombs suddenly exploded. The detonation of hundreds of bombs caused all of Resentful Death City to shake. Even space became so unstable that even heaven merging experts didn't dare to tear through the void for fear of being sucked into a wild chaotic stream of space. Bastard. I'll kill him. Raged Yi Ming. Mo Nian had caused them repeated trouble. If it weren't for him, he would perhaps have reached the 8th heaven stage. However, just as he was about to move, he was grabbed by a withered hand. G-U-I-C appeared. Don't let such petty matters interfere with what's important. Barked G-U-I-C. Yi Ming's expression sank. After that, he suppressed his fury and returned to the top of the tower to cultivate. However, he really was furious and unable to enter his meditative state for a while. G-U-I-C turned to one of the undying race's elders. Since it's been exposed, gather three million disciples to defend the channel. Even if their lives are forfeit, these people cannot be allowed to continue to interfere. So what if these people kill them? How many can they really kill? The Martial Heaven Continent's dying struggle won't last much longer. G-U-I-C looked in the direction of the Martial Heaven Continent. He then sneered and turned away. However, when he turned away, a bloody wound appeared on his mouth. That was the scar of a sword. Chapter 2720 Deadlock They want to use numbers against us? Ha Ruthless Mo Nian tried barging through the corrupt god cemetery three times, only to be forced back thrice as well. He didn't even have a chance to enter Resentful Death City. They've sacrificed a portion of their troops to allow the others to cultivate peacefully. The undying race really is ruthless Gu Yang nodded. Not only are they ruthless, but they also have the capital to do so. With just our numbers, killing a few million experts through sneak attacks while also being on guard against that old monster will take forever Mo Nian felt trapped. Long Chen had said that the sneak attacks had to be focused on absolute safety as a priority. He didn't want to see any losses amongst them. But if they didn't take any risks, every sneak attack would only kill a few thousand to ten thousand of the undying race's experts. Ten million experts of the undying race were enough to stall them. We have to disturb them somehow. Resentful Death City is focused entirely on allowing Yi Ming to advance as quickly as possible. His cultivation speed is astonishing. Once he becomes sovereign, the Martial Heaven Continent will be in trouble. Although it might not reach the point where he can dominate the continent, he would be able to deal grievous damage with sneak attacks, said Mo Nian gloomily. Once Yi Ming became sovereign, on his own, he would be able to constantly launch sneak attacks, grinding away all the experts of the Martial Heaven Continent. From then on, they would never have a moment of peace. If that happened, they would be unable to continue disturbing the other worlds, allowing the invaders to focus entirely on cultivation. Then the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, the Nine-Headed Lion, the Aldevil Heavenwalker, and the others would become sovereigns as well. Senior. This relates to the life and death of the Martial Heaven Continent. You have to help me out this time. I must charge into Resentful Death City and interrupt them. With no other options, Mo Nian could only beg the Central Plains Cauldron for aid. It had the power to do so, but it was still in the midst of recovering, and using its power so recklessly would extend the time it needed to recover. The Central Plains Cauldron said, 
No need to rush. Your helpers have come. A group of people appeared just as it spoke. Their leader was a giant with a giant axe on his back. Every step of his caused the world to shake. Wild. Mo Nian was delighted to see Wild. Kuo Ran, Xia Chen, and the rest of their group. He asked, Why are you here? Kuo Ran laughed. Everything is under boss's control. He knew they would play this kind of game, sacrificing some cannon fodder to protect the rest of their troops. According to boss, we should gather our power, attack them, and then run. Zi Yan and Yu Zifeng arrived with their group just at that moment. Yi Zhikyu's group was right on their tail. Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, Zeman Shiangsheng, Yi Lingshen, and the others had also arrived. Since all four supreme divine items were present, Mo Nian instantly became arrogant again. Brothers, kill them. Kill. The dragon blood legion was gathered and they charged into the corrupt god cemetery. An old monster immediately attacked them. However, with a slash of Yi's Hikyu's sword, ice and snow blew through the world, and that old monster's hand instantly froze solid. That old fellow hastily retreated. The current Northern Source Sword had recognized Yi's Hikyu as its master. Unlike Mo Nian, Yi's Hikyu was a perfect match for the Northern Source Sword, as both had ice attributes. Yi's Hikyu could use her own ice energy to invoke the power of the Northern Source Sword so it didn't deplete the Northern Source Sword's core energy. Even this old fellow of the Undying Race suffered immensely under its blow. Mixed with shock and anger, he was about to counterattack when a giant axe smashed down from the sky. Boom. The Elder coughed up a mouthful of blood and was sent flying into the distance. He was almost cut in two. With him gone, a giant opening appeared in their defenses. Mo Nian and the others were like a sharp arrow piercing through their midst. Charging into resentful Death City, without wasting a breath, Mo Nian unleashed a heaven-shaking arrow, throwing the laws of the world into chaos, interrupting their cultivation once more. We're done. Leave. After accomplishing this task, they didn't wait for a response and immediately retreated. Their group then did the same to Devil Spirit Mountain. After shaking the laws there, they rushed to the ancient battlefield and then the yin-yang world. Their goal wasn't to kill. It was only to interrupt the invaders and make sure that they couldn't peacefully cultivate. In any case, they had four supreme divine items on hand. Even if they encountered terrifying enemies, they could still retreat unscathed. Those four worlds were all infuriated. They tried to kill Mo Nian and the others multiple times, but the four supreme divine items were simply too powerful. With their power, they always managed to escape. Furthermore, as they worked together, their cooperation improved and their strikes became even more precise. The four worlds were tormented endlessly, infuriating them. They naturally did the same thing and launched attacks on the Martial Heaven Continent in order to shake the laws of the world. However, the Martial Heaven Continent was the core of a starfield. Even if it was already badly damaged, it still wasn't something their worlds could compare to. Their attacks were only able to shake a small part of the continent not even a tenth of the entire Martial Heaven continent. It was essentially meaningless. Moreover, they had to pay a price for this conduct. When they entered the Martial Heaven continent, the formations that Xia Chen had set up made it easy for them to enter but hard to leave. Illusion formations, soul bewitching formations, heart devil formations, and others made it so that they were unable to find their way back. Other than some fish that slipped through the net, the rest were slaughtered. The four worlds had sacrificed quite a few people but had not achieved their goal. They gradually became truly dumbfounded. Only now did they realize just how foolish it had been to disturb the Martial Heaven continent. They had essentially shot themselves in the foot. Helplessly, they could only try to cultivate in this disruptive state. But like this, any dreams of rapidly advancing were extinguished. The only thing that comforted them was that the ones harassing them were the apex experts of the Martial Heaven continent. If they were constantly attacking, then they also didn't have time to cultivate. Both sides were sacrificing. They settled with this kind of result. However, what they didn't know was that with the medicinal pills that Long Chen, Meng Chi, and the others were refining, the Martial Heaven continent's experts didn't need to enter a meditative state to cultivate effectively. They fought as they absorbed medicinal energy. Although it did impact their cultivation speed, 
it made sure that their foundations were incomparably solid. As Mo Nian led the Dragonblood Legion against the invading worlds and drew them into a stalemate, Long Chen spent two full months refining medicinal pills. On this day, the final furnace of pills was finished. After that, Long Chen told Meng Qi and the others to continue with their refinement, leaving his clone and Ling'er behind. He then set off on his own.